Tony Campbell. We're recording. This is what happens before the podcast starts. All right. Uh, David's not here yet, but we're yeah, recording because I don't want to be here all night. You're so big. What? Oh. You do look good, Dustin. I, I went to the gym last week or something. Mm-hmm. It was at night. It was like 5 o'clock after work. Yeah. And Dustin shows up. I'm like, what's up, dog? What's good, bro? Dap him up, you know. He's like, yeah, this is my second time here today. I'm like, what? Oh, you're talking I missed the middle. And I, well, I, I mean, if you put your yet. headphones on, it'd be cool. I guess I could, and then I'd hear you better. Oh. One. oh I was like, that's cool. <laughs> He's like, Harrison's like, it's good to be hearing. Is this number four? Yeah, I feel. Yeah, no, Dustin has been hitting it hard. Trying. The gun show. Harrison, where you been, bro? Where's the what? gym been, man? Went today. Did you? Yeah. Have you been hitting it hard? Not as hard. But Don't make him feel weird. Yeah. Not two times a day. You feel it's like you got terrible. her locked up. You just not even. <laughs> <laughs> you got her. Like, Ugh. Yeah, you got. <laughs> yeah, get it, babe. You need me to get it for you. You want to show everyone your big belly? What? <laughs> <laughs> Kayla's pregnant. I'm sorry. <laughs> Kayla's pregnant. My wife's those pregnant. Tuning Don't in hit the, the first t- honey. Don't. <laughs> yeah, you have to give clarification. There could be a first time listener and saying, wow, Cam, it's really disrespectful and ignorant. Wait, wait. He said something last time. Yes. I was like, I can't believe Kayla has to quote, go talk to her. old people. Sit. I'm not cutting this, so you better submit. <laughs> Tell your story about the deer, or I mean about the home. You don't have to be on camera, but you have to tell the story. There's literally nothing to tell. I went to Dominican. Got bit by a mosquito and got dengue fever. Yeah, that's what we were talking about. Yes. I thought you said deer. No. I was sick for like two and a half weeks. Oof. Bad. What kind of disease would you get if you got bit by a deer? Deer tips are bad, right? I mean, just like a real deer. With hair. Yeah. It's not about you, Dustin. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Was it the number one? Mosquitoes like, were, but it's just, I don't think that disease was number one. It's like malaria. It's like this similar. We're just trying to is make it, sure you're like, you're an overcomer. Well, how, how critical yeah. is it? <laughs> you're like, you're. Uh, I don't know. I was in CHOP for at hmm. least a night. But. We're just trying to figure out give Kaysen's you survivability rate. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Kaysen's genetics are looking pretty good with the. <laughs> yeah, he's <laughs> the got impending, a good shot. Impending uh, diseases. Strong. Strong bones. Strong heart. No. That's how, it. How many weeks pregnant? 35. Wow. Yes. He'll be here in his onesie. That's before one less you know than 36. He'll be here with a. With a. Uh, he'll be here with a little. That was David. That was Nikki. Not David. And then. <laughs> well, the. It wasn't David. I had the onesie that was the. Yeah. yeah the we got that. Arm. I'm saying yeah. the one with. Uh, Head. That was says calm down. It's fine. It was not David. Yeah, it was Nikki. It was Nikki. Thanks, Nikki. Thanks, Nikki. We're waiting on David. It's all good. I have a sandwich here to eat. That's going to be cute eating on as we record. That's him. Adorable. He's on his bike. I can tell. Dustin, David's. you had drill this week. I did. The weekend. Weekend, yeah. Tell us about it. Um, We were we went to Fort Dix in um New Jersey. Eey. It's near Pemberton. Well. Um, let me tell you something. You know how people will give you looks if you drive through a residential neighborhood in a convoy of about 13 Humvees. <laughs> it's mm. very awkward. And I'm driving and people are like, and some people are like honking their horn like, yeah. And I'm like, please leave me alone. Just let me, I don't want to be in this right now. No, no USA chance. No, do not. You have to do it while screaming the British are coming. <laughs> 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 hey. Why did you come uh, in here so loud? Got it up. didn't. It was. It's not hooked up. Oh, nice. What's up, David? Do you have food? We have pizza over here if you want it. You look good. You look tan. Yeah. Ish. You look stronger, healthier. Yeah. yeah. You look like you got Younger. some sun. What? You what? look like you got some sun. What number is this episode? Uh, thirty-eight. Forty-seven. Forty-eight. Forty-eight. Not a day under forty-eight. Looking good. It's gonna get outrageous here pretty soon when we start getting into the sixties. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm keeping it up. I don't care how lame it gets. Can't wait till David officially retires. <laughs> what is that at sixty-five now? Yeah. 
Wow, it's coming soon. Do like a work yeah, party. Yeah. You know what I found <laughs> out? Oh, that'd be so funny. <laughs> that would be secret. I found out that David. Remember when he took the bathroom break in the middle of the? And we I'm knew what he was doing. Video. Yeah. And he just like gets up and walks out. Mm-hmm. Well, we cut some stuff out of that to for time's sake. Right. And just because, you know, whatever. Um, not inappropriate stuff, but just stuff that need, didn't need to be heard. But yeah. So and we're gonna say it right now. <laughs> yeah. Here's what was said. No. But David took out on the YouTube version all the funny stuff that we said about him. Oh, really? He just goes like, we're just he saying really one random thing. And he goes, and then takes out something that doesn't, and then takes out, and then it's just like him sitting back down. Wow. So I took out like the really two or three guy. things that we were saying that's like, whatever, but left in all the funny stuff. So right. our, the, you, the, <laughs> you need to learn how to laugh <laughs> His yourself, version is, a, is an hour and 49 minutes. The yeah, podcast the truth, version the is two hours, so he talked out like eleven wow. minutes. <laughs> you're like you're like the NIV dude. It's one forty nine. Mine is like one fifty nine. He's right. cutting out everything. He's watching that thing, dude. He was watching that thing and was like, "I got a lot of that." I got the power. But it's still. But it still should be lined up with me hitting record. It's crazy because none of the people Because the can stuff hear that you. I hit yeah. record on is stuff that's more stupid. live on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the phone records more than that does. Right, but it still should be at least two hours because that's when I hit that button. Well, what I'm saying, though, is, is I chopped that. Oh, I guess you're right. <laughs> oh, I guess you're right. Discrepancies. When you put your hand on a hip, it's like, a sur- like yeah, no, you're right. Question. Are you just mad that I don't I'm better know. at Far Cry mi- than you? Maybe. I thought that it was really good. I even sent it to Cameron. Yeah. Said, oh, that's great. Yeah. But when I went to do it on my end, I can't go. I can't. Eat. Yeah. So I took that's out what I what made me. Pitch. Yeah. We got jelly beans. We also have fruit roll ups to do our vanilla ice cream thing with to do the thing. So, you know the thing. Yeah, the things. <laughs> what's what's the whale? Is that about a fat thing? I don't know, but they it's sure a, are advertising been, it that uh, way. Yeah. It's been a. Uh, is it? Sure. Who? A and fat the, gay the guy, guy from Mummy. And they call him the whale? Oh. The reason I know is because there was It's like they, Fisher, they, right? They got Something Fisher? It's ben Fraser. Fraser. You know what would be great? You know what would be great, you know be great, David? Is it? If you... All your thoughts set into a microphone? <laughs> That's terrible. We got to talk about your trip, man. Look, I mean, we, you have a spot reserved. Tell me about your boat. You, what the... Sorry. Big. What kind of boat was it? I have a really funny story. You? No one can hear you. I don't care. I'm yeah. to you. Oh. People are going to wonder what's going on. David has a funny story for Cam. David has a funny David story. David is standing over by the counter eating pizza and Mountain Dew as we record a podcast. The way all Americans should. I'm not sure if you know how this works. All right. Harrison. I'm digging this. Yeah, tell them to subscribe, like, review, tell them all the things. Hit it. All the things? Yeah. Um, well, Cam just said it, but um, <laughs> I'm going to, a wise man once said, Harrison, tell them to go like, subscribe, <laughs> and do all that stuff. Quote Cam. So uh, do that. Write that down in your Bible. Go do that. But unlike the quotes in your Bible, go do them as well. Can we carry it home? Wow. What a. Oh, you're not going to do it? All right, guys. She's already carrying... So She's carrying her child, Cam. The least you can do is carry <laughs> her purse. All right, well, the talent wow. is here. Hey, there he is. Lord, help me get this right. Wow. Yeah! Hey, first try. Wow. Thank you. Yes. My reaction is now. to always suggest yeah. the green one. Yeah, when I, I got... I don't that's the wop wop. When I, I got to the Virgin that. Islands, I heard that it was just a little louder. A lot more people. Um, yeah. They were like roses, you know. The whole night. They were just oh, excited the when you got there. They were cheering, oh, yeah. Come what about when fight. you got on the boat? Nothing. When I got on the boat? Yeah. Was there like a smaller reception? Were there palm it was less leaves? people. So ah, yeah. Palm leaves laid down. It was throngs of people. Coats laid down. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They didn't know which room they was mine. They even have need of this. Yeah, they didn't know which room was mine, so they didn't let anybody go into the rooms until I, I claimed my spot, and then they were like, on me. On the boat? Yeah. Mm-hmm. They let him pick his room. That makes sense. There, like, the, like the coach, the Indian coach on the sideline. Like, 
<laughs> uh, the one that's the Dustin dressed up as one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, I just I just see, saw your text, Dustin. I was riding my motorcycle. That's, so what, that's, what, that's why I said literally what I was like. I bet he's riding his motorcycle. Yeah. Did, did you listen to my voicemail? You can't play it on the podcast. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Noted. Okay. It's not bad. It's just it, so. some people. Do you have like any way of events. like accessing your phone while you're driving? Yeah, we discussed this. It seems like a problem. This is there's a there's like. Um, don't they make really Bluetooth not supposed to be on your phone? Don't they make well, like we yeah. were? Don't they we make were Bluetooth in, helmets? Or we were in New York City, um, and they had like DoorDash people. They did DoorDash bikes they had like bike mounts for their yeah, phones yeah, and yeah. stuff. Do they not have those for motorcycles? No, they do. Um, they have like uh, they have mounts you can put on the handlebar. Seems okay. terrifying. Like so, like not that you're trusting your. You're tr- putting a phone. lot of trust. Yeah. In they that have thing. like they have like high dollar like mounts. That like form to your phone. Mm-hmm. There's one, um, I forget what it's called, but it comes with a special case mm-hmm. and you put that case on your phone. Mm-hmm. And then when you get on your motorcycle, the case like locks yeah. into the mount. Mm-hmm. Um, and then there's like, can you sue them if it falls out? Yes. I don't know. You can sue them. No, probably. I mean, it's America. You can sue anybody it's for anything. It's 2023, bro. You can sue anything for anything. Yeah, man. Uh, um, and then they have like Bluetooth stuff that you put, like you can put in your helmet so that. Can, I you ask call, my dad, can you call people while you're on a motorcycle? Yeah. If you have the Bluetooth set, set up. Oh. Yeah. I asked you? my dad, I asked my dad why he doesn't have the walkie talkie system so that he mm-hmm. can talk to my mom when they go on long rides. And he, <laughs> he said, I, I ride my motorcycle so I don't have to hear people talk. <laughs> <laughs> That's you should get like a CB radio. Oh, uh, we can just like drive like by a, next to trucks. A ham radio? <laughs> no, like, no, no, no. <laughs> yeah, like Over, a CB uh, handle. I have a CB radio and I have a handheld CB radio. So I now you see the handle. You want? Uh, and, you know uh, what I mean? Uh, You're so smart. <clears throat> well, you jealous? He's mm. risen. Revival. We have Daniel Waters going to be at our church mm-hmm. Easter Sunday. Waters. What did I say? You said waters. I was just being stupid. April tenth to the twelfth, Monday through Wednesday. Oh, I didn't know. As I made the flyer, Pastor Gary Manorazzi, assistant Pastor Cameron Manorazzi. <laughs> Whoa! Look at you go! Yeah, hit it. Wow! You're famous, man. My own church. Wow! They claimed you. Yeah! You're such a turd. They claimed you. No, you're great. I didn't mean a real turd like a. Like an a like yeah, like a metaphorical, a metaphorical one, affectionate, a metaphor- like a non a non tangible, affectionate, <laughs> a loving turd. <laughs> I am making that better. I make make it I have to a, a short. I am trying. He does the short. What is it? Ah, not dang it. Our, not our shorts. When we ever get a short that actually hits, I put one on the other day. Got twelve views. Took it back down. Put it back up. Eighteen hundred. So you just gotta I don't understand that. You have to do it's it at the al- right yeah, time. It's algorithm. If so. I before I go to bed, if I put a short up, it'll go. Sense. But on a short, it works good because there's a subscribe button right next to the video, and you can't save that. Like, so I've seen a short before. I'm like, I want to save this or send it. You can't send it or anything. You can't like add it to your list. No. So you have to like subscribe to save it. Mm. So when we do it, we all like that one day we got like seven subscribers off that one short. So so mm. from here on out. Uh, comrades, instead of podcast episodes, we're just going to put out 200 shorts a week. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. Each That's where long, the money's at. Literally. Yeah. <laughs> it, and if randomized get, orders, and the, they have to decipher. It's so yeah. frustrating because <laughs> yeah. the shorts, they come up and it's like, when we're all sitting here, you can only use like a tiny rectangle of the video. Because it's the vertical yeah. aspect yes. of the film. So, but it only fits in a little. So, so when good. I make it on my video editor, I have to like zoom in centered. Right. So like you, you have to, I have to give you enough space to your right and left so I can actually center you. Mm-hmm. So yeah, it's, it's just a work in progress. And me, I have to be centered or it only gets my nose. So we could here. easily but, fix you know this. What, yeah, you know what? But fix that. It. We all sat in each other's laps. Uh, <laughs> huh. So I was gonna say I was I was like gonna a, say we like can fix it if we had a fine totem pole. <laughs> a what? A totem pole? Totem pole. Yeah. <laughs> Just like do they make do they make double decker chairs? I'm gonna look at it. All name is on. He does this all the time. I think double decker. Do you give want that to be a segment? Yeah, I do. Okay. What's on Amazon? Because he always right. does this in real life. I Dustin, do. here we go. Let's introduce it because we're just gonna go with it. In real life, this I man I at sundry times. 
Good word. Really? Yeah, I know. <laughs> Sundry <laughs> times. <laughs> he literally would just stop and say to himself, verbally out loud for everyone else to hear, I wonder if they have six-toed socks. Look on Amazon. Yeah. <laughs> we'll call the segment... Oft. Deals with oh. Dustin. <laughs> Oft went to Amazon. All right, so the last thing I looked up for it was battery holders. A place where he was For walking. Milwaukee. Ba- I didn't know what kind of options they had for that. And battery then, holders? Have you, you know. Yeah, have you guys ever seen um, the Brave Little Toaster? Yeah. Thank you. Because I asked several people oh, like recently. Movie? Yeah, and they were like, no. I don't know what you're talking about. So you looked also, to see if Amazon okay, had Okay, before that, toaster. I was looking for handheld computers. Um. It, no, no, like, like, like listen, like they would, they would run off of this, like when they would run off like Windows 11 or whatever. Right Palm now. Pilot, so whatever. Like anyway. a Google Pixel. No. The last thing I saw like, was how hey. many championships has Scotty Scheffler won? I don't know who that is. Golf. Shout out to UConn. Anyway, and then they, I mean, I they have they have this thing, which is like what you'd use for like a cash register or whatever. Which I already knew about because there's one those ones you can just build yourself. Why did you need a handheld computer? I just thought it was interesting. Look, so then they have this. It's a laptop, but it's got the thumb things on it, so you can play Steam or whatever. Look, <laughs> it's like <laughs> that's actually it's like cool. a keyboard yeah. attached. Well, then, to your so phone. then, so then the rabbit hole got deeper because then I started <laughs> oh, and then I found no. this. This is this is a laptop, but it's, it's designed to play computer games on. Wow, that's what. Yeah, nuts. It looks like um like a sidekick. What were you yeah. searching? Looks about like a chairs, PlayStation. Double decker chairs. Double like decker. I haven't gotten that what is it? back to that far. I would, then I was PSP. looking for an Xbox controller that was a touchpad. I didn't know if that was an, a thing that existed. Uh huh. Double decker chairs. That's like just one on top of the other. You need one. <laughs> like Amazon bunk, is like, are you looking chair. for two look up, chairs? Look up bunk chair. That might be a better thing. That's actually genius, Dustin. Um, bunk chair. Bunk chair. Don't they have like double decker couches? I think they do. It looks like a frat house that made <laughs> Which, a, they that, made double decker couches. Yeah, I see that I idea stemmed from this. I found they have a handheld Xbox. Logitech makes it, and there's another company that makes something similar to this. Mm. But it literally it, it it. But no, like I I look. I think you, you said that to me and looked up. Double look into decker. It. It's like oh, Xbox Game Pass. You have to have the, yeah. You have to have Game Pass. You, you can't have to, but or like you have be to have your to play mm-hmm. if you're connected to Wi-Fi. Do what? You would only be able to play if you're connected to Wi-Fi. I think, and you, you have can, to have an Xbox no. at the house. I think too. You have to own an Xbox, yeah. or you don't. Maybe you don't. I don't think you have to own it. You just have to have, have an account. You have to have an account, and you, if you have the Game Pass, it doesn't matter. But if you have, so the double decker couch, discs, then like you would remember the double decker couch was off of Lego, the Lego Movie. Remember that. Oh, that's what I'm thinking that, of. That's all that's on here is a Lego set. That's what it was. I keep uh, looking at my wow. eyes. That's what I was thinking of. Is that right there? You put you connected the dots. I saw the Lego movie and applied it to my real life. This is a similar thing, but it, it goes around your phone, and it comes with software or something you download to your phone. <laughs> what is it? It's, it's a more of the Xbox. hand of- I don't know. I was, I was on look a up the Steam Deck. I found one Xbox, thing. I was, yeah, that, well, Xbox, well, Xbox, make a PSP. Yeah. There was um PSP. I found something yeah. the other day that I thought I was interesting. Double no, decker PSP. wagon. Ooh. Um I found the farting Can't and then is there a, a special announcement? That'll slide in. <laughs> no. <laughs> Twins. <laughs> oh man. Two nations. <laughs> <laughs> Two nations he's on Jacob. Um Let's go down a rabbit trail. Yeah. We're already we're already down here. Yeah, we're in we're we're deep. I found a digital shower controller I, that you can control your, the temperature you shower with, but on like a computer thing. Double decker. Why? You know you can control the temperature. You of your can shower set by... it perfectly, and you can even have it so that like it like you won't use any hot water at night or anything. No, that's a rich people problem. I know. I just thought it, I just we're was really curious. Down the rabbit hole. We're so far. You guys want to hear that funny story I mentioned? No, they no, have, we're too busy down the rabbit hole. They have motorcycles on Amazon. I was curious about that one day. They're probably garbage. No, they're great. Yo. Look, they're by <clears throat> X Pro Life and and they're from China. Oh, that's good. Yeah, you like the steel worker. Yeah, yeah, that was really fun. That was <laughs> oh, on the topic of reels, yeah. there was a there was a reel that I didn't send to the WhatsApp, but it was somebody had too. an Xbox, yeah, and a projector. 
And what they had was they drove up to a white semi truck. And so the projector was on the semi truck while a guy is up out of the, like the, what's it called? The opening top of the car. Sunroof? Sunroof. Yeah, sunroof. sunroof. There we yeah. go. Tripping. So he's out of the sunroof. <laughs> with the opening a, top of the yeah, car. <laughs> it's like I'm playing like charades over here. <laughs> Not charades. Uh, catch rays. Anyway, so he has a Guitar Hero guitar and the projector yeah, is put on like a rock show. Oh my no, God. It's projecting. No, no. It's just, they're on the highway. And he oh, pulls and up next to he's driving like down the road. Well, his friend is. He's not driving because he's playing Guitar Hero. But they're dri- yeah, he drives up next to a white semi truck, projecting it onto the side of the truck, and he's playing Guitar Hero. <laughs> he's like that guy he's from driving down the he's road. Like that guy from Mad Max. Like, <laughs> oh my, he, that's, uh, that's crazy. Hilarious. And he was like, he wasn't just on easy too. He was on like you know hard. We like do like doubles. You're gonna ha- you're gonna have to send that to me because that sounds like the craziest it. thing. I went to speak into my phone. Guy playing Guitar Hero on highway and then hopefully the instagram algorithm will listen to everything i'm saying and post it later maybe it's on yeah maybe it'll be on 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 youtube yeah it'll be on dustin's uh no it's fine i'll look it up later you don't want to put it on here no okay i I don't know where it is now the moment's passed lost somewhere yeah i'm just hoping instagram will listen to me and funny story david we're gonna go through some instagram reels and and stuff so here's a funny story i heard the funniest way to start a fight. You did? I thought you were going to say start a fire. To start a fight. So oh. we... Oh, oh. my. Oh. oh. What, what happened? It? What have we done? Um, it didn't hurt anything, did it? I was trying to get no. Harrison some more. Like, No, it just killed all the power and everything. Go ahead, David. <laughs> um, Still recording? No. Yeah. Recording. So we went to... No. So we had to fly down to Fort Lauderdale to go to... Florida. To go on our cruise. Right. Yep. It's in Florida. Correct. Plus his name. Low rider. Uh, well, our, our flight had gotten delayed, so we got down to Florida like late, and uh, we get off the plane, and um, uh, cool. our friend Joshua picks us up at the airport because he had got there earlier in the day. So mm-hmm. he picks us up at the airport, and um, me and Eric are like, yo, we're hungry. We're like super hungry. We got to go somewhere. So we're driving around Fort Lauderdale looking for... Somewhere that's me. Oh, so we're looking for um somewhere to eat, and we find a lot less gray in that photo. We find <laughs> this guy. This photo was taken ten episodes ago, and he was like thirty in his thirties. Yeah. So uh, we go to IHOP, and this IHOP at one o'clock in the morning was on some serious Waffle House vibes. <laughs> <laughs> Right, oh, that was beautiful. So we go to this, we go to this waff or to this IHOP, and we're sitting in there, and there's like maybe three other people in this in this IHOP. Guy comes over, takes our drinks, and he's like, "I'm gonna come back and get your food orders and stuff." And we're like, "Cool, that's great." Uh, as as we're uh, looking at the menus, there's this guy who rides up to IHOP at one in the morning on a bicycle, mm-hmm. and then comes in, sits down, wants mm-hmm. to order. He orders his food. We order our food. Yep. And he's, I don't know, maybe a couple of booths away. To the John alarm? Sign up. I don't get it. <laughs> I don't get it either. Kind of missing it, but yeah, it's good effort. All Cam right, is, so for those who don't know, Cam is typing th- He's on typing Instagram. on Instagram. On David's post about him and his oh, wife. Oh, um, he was trying to be very politically oh, correct. Okay. Yeah, um, that, send it. <laughs> send it. So, uh, the guy, yeah. we start eating our food, and then the guy starts just losing his mind. Bicycle man. Yeah, just starts yelling at our waiter. Mm-hmm. I mean, like... Did she deserve it? Not quite. It's a, it, it was a dude, mm-hmm. but no. So he just starts, I mean, just starts yelling at the waiter and he's like yelling profanities, all this other stuff. Well, very, very early on, he stands up because the the cook in the back is like, hey, calm down, man. Like, it's fine. Right. And uh, he he stands up and he looks at the waiter. He goes, bro, just like this. I'm not even joking. And I out loud laughed. He heard me like everybody heard me. I kept repeating it because it was so funny. He goes. Hey, let me ask you something. (laughs) 
shut up. <laughs> and I, dude, I lost dude, it. Let me ask you something. <laughs> shut up. Yeah. Was like the that was, that was good. That didn't was go, good. Didn't inflect up. At no, the end. It, let me ask you something. Shut up. <laughs> So for the whole week we're That's walking. A bit of a bottle. Yeah, I like dude. That. I'm just saying anything back at that. Like, I don't even know how you respond I'm to that. Bringing that to work tomorrow. Yeah. So, so the <laughs> whole week we're uh, we're we're walking around and strangers are walking by and doing something. Da 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 da. Or like if if Eric would make a joke and he'd make fun of me for something, but like, hey, let me ask you something. Shut up. <laughs> and we, I mean, we were saying it to strangers. Oh we were saying, gosh. we were watching the final four. That's wonderful. And Josh is from Connecticut. So we're like rooting for UConn. Guys are in there rooting for Miami. And the guy's, he's making a complaint. Oh, that's a trial. Blah, blah, blah. And Josh, Josh, complete stranger. Josh is like, hey, let me ask you something. Shut up. <laughs> and then, dude, yeah. dude we're, it's so fun. It was the funniest way I've ever heard somebody attempt to start a fight. That yeah. was amazing. I love it. Walking your boss's office. Hey, boss, yeah. I've got a real quick question for you. Um, uh, shut, shut up. up. <laughs> That's all right. I'm gonna go to <laughs> hey hey tomorrow when Jim tells me what to do and what job to go to. Hey Jim, let me ask you something. Shut up. <laughs> yeah, I told I told Clinton <laughs> I told Clinton about it, and he said it's got the same vibes as, as when The Rock was like. Uh, what's your name? It doesn't matter <laughs> what your name is. He said it's the hey, same exact yeah, but, vibe, but like they. That makes sense. What, like, you know, it flows. <laughs> yeah, like, no, no. Hey, let me ask you, shut up. That doesn't, <laughs> bro. <laughs> just, just, dude. I was, it was just an angry it homeless man. The funniest thing. It. The funniest way I've ever heard a fight start, ever. I, um. And then Eric pushes it on. So. Eggs it on. Eric goes, uh, Eric goes, <laughs> hey, what was that guy about? Because he was yelling about green peppers. He's like, you see any green peppers on my plate? I asked for extra green peppers. And he's like screaming about green peppers. So the waiter comes by and we're like, what's that all about? And he goes, I don't know. That crazy man comes in here like a couple times a week and he's always starting something. And Eric out loud in front of everybody in the restaurant goes, I think you need to go fight him. And I'm like, <laughs> Eric, calm down, bro. Like, don't escalate the situation. It was so, it was so funny. What a way to start. <laughs> What a way to start the, the vacation. If your IHOP has Waffle right. House vibes, then it's really shame. just, it's huh? IHOP oh, in name only because it's a Waffle House. Yeah, I, I wouldn't want to go to a Waffle House in Fort Lauderdale. What would you no. say, Dustin, that, Harry? Don't worry about it. Just keep keep stalling. You want to go around and just troll people's accounts and we can just, yeah. uh, you I think that'd yeah. be funny to do. That'd be, let's do it right now. Go to the president. We're going to just, all right, so David, that was a great story. I thought, <laughs> This man is in danger. Dude, this, guy. this guy. These guys are. Oh, there it is. These guys are Inside posting jokes. comments on my wife's Instagram. Let's go down and, and down. And down. I was. Everything. I was listening. Let's, yeah. let's go and thumbs That's down fine. everything the she first says. Time. Oh, Wait, how no. do we thumbs down? I don't think you can on it. Let's read everything out loud. You got to be friends with everybody. This now. man is in danger. That is. <laughs> do you see that tie clip That's though? So funny. Yeah, it looks good. I was. I, 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 that was it's for my. I noticed that. Let's see, I get, one guy got sunburnt. All right, who can we troll? Let's look at our followers. It was me. I got sunburnt. In case you guys were wondering, Saint Martin is the place where the worm dieth not and the fire is not right, quenched. Here we go. Oh, <laughs> there's. It see. it was brutal. Who can we troll in Saint Martin? Let's see. <laughs> Let's troll. That one of you. with the car. Oh, sorry. Uh, eeny, meeny, money. That's a My big uncle. Gray. Big gray. No, don't do that. It's your boss. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm just going to slide stop. I like having a job. Right, who's Caleb Staples? That no. guy. Oh, wait. His account no. is private. We don't follow him back. Sorry, Caleb. What is Love Romans 10 9. Right here. Tim and Bryce Tim and <laughs> Oh, a private. Oh, Karen. <laughs> <Terry. laughs> no, Karen. <laughs> <Terry. laughs> what did you say? I missed it. Shh. I missed it. I didn't see it. You, can we troll a public hey, figure? Travis Davis. He was. I went to. Oh. I was in the army with him. This guy. Yep. You want to troll? I'm him? pretty sure. Unless it's a different. Never mind. Never mind. Like no, different like Travis Davis. Guy. Never mind. I was about to say. I was Everybody like, in those pictures was uh, very young. This is who follows the podcast. It would Miller. make sense. No. Owen Miller. I know that guy. Yeah. Let's do one more. Whoop! Bam! Right here. Allie Ryman. I don't feel like messing with Allie. Whoop! Bam! I thought you said Alan Ryman Let's for a do second. This one. My right. mind was about to be blown. Let's troll this kid. <laughs> yeah, all right. Are we just, no, pick a picture that we can actually roast. 
We can't. <laughs> it's the ladies' account. It's Rachel Elizabeth Clark. And they're all her children. And Rachel. it's her children. We're just going to trash your kids. No, no, no. I, We're going. Joseph Racine. It's Katie. This? All right. Joseph Racine. Oh, He's building a better version my, of himself. Uh, that's the guy who used to work for the FedEx. We can't trash these people. No, we can. You just got to pick somebody we can. and commit. You just have to commit. Go back to that video. Listen, they follow this podcast. Look they know. at his floppy Crazy legs. Oh. And no, Joe followed it. There you go. He um he was a coworker Everybody of mine. Private. Cam and he saw the video of me in like the hoodie. He's like, "What are you doing?" <laughs> <laughs> like he look, said it like that. Like he was like disappointment in his voice. I I scrolled in confusion on Instagram. Like, why does it look like Harrison's about to like to drop a a sick album <laughs> in the? <laughs> I'm like, no, it's a podcast. Oh. Uh, so then he followed. Then he followed. Look at look at this awesome. 101, 11, 111 posts. Look at this awesome. This is my first time seeing our, our Instagram page. Yeah, that's interesting. What? Is this a different page? Anyways. What do you mean? Is it a different page? Is I thought you, I don't know. He stuff? said something and it threw me All off. Right. I didn't. We control your wife. I do that enough. Oh, duh. No, don't. No, <laughs> don't, <laughs> I don't, nope. don't mind that's on there. <laughs> Cameroon. I didn't read it. Yeah, I don't. I tell you what, Instagram suggested. I don't know where they get their ideas from, but none <laughs> of it. None Instagram of it suggested is that I would. I yeah. I like Instagram. Su- the caption is you guys are on a hype. Yeah. This guy looks like Axel Trepovich. This is that guy. We all know this guy. I'm pretty sure my youth pastor growing up has said all of these things. These are religious talking points. Mm -hmm. Let's go to that place. He does a really good job, though. I bet you I could do a really good job of my job just to make videos. (laughs) That's a a, a youth pastor, though. That's like... It's a guy spoofing we, a youth pastor. We, well, no, we all know that guy, and everybody knows this guy, who... His name is George. Tries everything. entirely too hard to spiritualize everything you're talking yes. about. Oh, yeah. I want to say and his you're name like, right now. Cam. Cut it. <laughs> and you're just like, hey, man. I just I said I want to say his name right now, and then I said, I cut it. Who we're talking about. Mm. Oh, yeah. oh, I don't really know him, so... Uh, that's funny yeah. though. Busy bodies over there. Yeah. Well, the, the the typically I feel like the people that do that the most are like your contemporary Christians. You know, they're trying like you mean and the, I, the not, new Christians. Not, yeah, like well, like the the not not in the crowd that like you know they go to church like every once in a blue moon, but like the people that go wherever they go regularly. But then like everything is like some like you're in a cloud and it's all. It's just, it's all, we're there, but, but we're not there. But, You're just but mad you haven't been in that place. Are you hanging out with Christians or like potheads? <laughs> that <laughs> video. Did I send you yes, that? Yes, uh, that was so funny. Yeah. I, I, I went on Instagram and watched it. I died. Yeah. It was so Feed funny. Feed shop or. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. I've you, seen those you, before. Okay, you sent it, but I saw it on Mike Matera's story. Yeah, that's, he, that's yeah. where I saw it and reposted yeah, I was, it. Yeah. I was he, trying to remember. Yeah, he's done a couple of videos. John that Chris was so done a funny, of and it like that. totally threw me off. Uh huh. I didn't get any of them right. Like Heritage Bible Baptist Church. I got the second one. Right. <laughs> weed <laughs> church shop. Or weed <laughs> shop. Church or weed he was shop. like, he was like, weed Heri- shop. What was it? What was the second one? It, it was, was like it was like people's harvest. Pe- well, harvest. Pe- he said harvest, and I went. That's a I really thought roots. people's was going to be a church. I was. Yeah. So no, I thought it was too obvious, Mike. No, it has to be. Yeah, but someone that. There's no way of telling. All right, so I, like, for the podcast listeners, Harry sent us a video um, 
that I'm John Christ had put out where uh, he's driving around L.A. Yeah. And he He's gives in the cars a name. and he gives a one let. He gives a name of a building. And you have to guess on whether or not it is a church or a marijuana dispensary. And um, results I, will shock you. I think I went one for five. Like I think I the only one I, I got yeah. right was harvest. I harvest. Think, he said harvest, which Roots. was a I got harvest. It was a church. Right. I got that right. Higher paths I I didn't was get, the first one. I did not higher get any of them right. Get, I, I did didn't not get, get any higher paths. paths. I went higher paths. People. People's yeah. roots. Harvest. What? Well, what? He so was shooting a bow um, and arrow at food what in else? the grocery store. Uh, roots. Roots. I got roots wrong. Harvest people's. How did he get away with that? I mean, he's got a bow yeah, and arrow. I don't know how he was able to walk into Cameron's a, got a video up of a guy I mean, it's uh, not, shooting it's a not bow like and a, arrow in a grocery store. And it says, I mean, those are actual. He's food. walking up to pizza and shooting it. A and then walking up to cereal. And shooting it, he's what walking up to the chicken and the turkey, and hunting his own it. food, <laughs> and then, walking and then rings it out with the arrows still in the, still in the ham. <laughs> Cam Cameron, I don't know how there wasn't like a assistant Walmart, pastor. Where's the Walmart Cameron, reader like flagging him can down? You hand me the bag of whatever they're called. I really pushed for to, for them to add that T to the assistant abbreviation. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was really on that team T. <laughs> I eat one of these. <laughs> Yeah, go for it, everybody. Uh, kudos, mom. Uh, Irish potatoes, cooking, part I think. two. Yeah. There's more. That way you don't live a life of regret. Yeah. I'm actually um, staring down this bowl of jelly beans over here. There's a lot of food today. Do it again. It's old. So it's kind of hard to... I love using the screen for the meat, for the reels, but mm -hmm. it doesn't come through the audio. No. Mm -hmm. So it's like... There's just some things, you know. Some things are captured. <laughs> worth explaining. fighting for. It was a really good jelly bean. What are we talking about today? I don't know. You don't know? Oh, wait. I do you know. know. Yeah. Pagans. Only the whole reason. Pagans. Is that right? The whole reason why our faith is in vain. <laughs> what? The tomb's not wow. empty. Yeah. Bless God. We like to play at I our church. It. We don't do Easter egg hunts. We do find what is, the, what is it find you guys the empty saying? tomb. Yes, wait. All the kids run out and they find an empty tune. All like, the eggs are empty. <laughs> it's like he's yeah, risen. <laughs> there's nothing in those eggs. Yeah, it's like empty. the tomb. The greatest. Why is there nothing in there? One of the yeah. One because of the greatest he's lessons. Because he's what I'm like do. the saddest <laughs> Easter egg hunt ever. <laughs> it's just like Kate, kids crying. I had to make a mental note to do this to if Lord Blank if I have kids like all empty eggs and like this is why we celebrate Easter. Mm -hmm. You could, it's empty. Have you got? Uh, you all, guys, <laughs> have you guys ever seen the show Parks and Rec? Yes. In the first season, um, <laughs> Leslie, nope, she goes. Uh, Tom did a really good job hiding the Easter eggs for uh, this year's Easter egg hunt. I don't think we found any. And then the camera cuts over to Tom, and he's like, "Oh, oh yeah, I forgot to do that." <laughs> <laughs> the kids just looking for Easter eggs for like hours. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot that, to do that. That show. There are certain parts of it that were funnier than like The Office, which was obviously the, com the comparable to right. Um, Preface: You have to watch it with Vid Angel or Clear yes, Play. Correct. I didn't. Yeah, whatever. I was gonna mention that earlier. You guys can be heathens. I'm not endorsing. Hey, they're the funniest reels and gifs and memes ever, though. I mean, oh yeah. Um, just before we get too carried away, Easter eggs. When I was in the army, my uh, aunt sent me a care package for Easter, and all my cousins filled Easter eggs for me. Would wow. you like to know what was in these Easter eggs? Dirt. Uh, well, some Rocks. I wish. Now, one of them had a uh, frog. Used one of them rags. had a frog. How the do you send a frog? You they stuffed it in there. They, it was a toad. They stuffed it in the Easter egg and taped was it, it up. Was, was it was alive? It, it was very. It was nasty. The post office was it dead? Listen, but nasty does not mean dead. It was very dead. Okay. The post office called me, called me, and said you have to pick this up. Right now, or we will throw it away. Was it a box of eggs? It was a box of a bunch of random stuff they'd put into eggs. So it stunk that bad. It smelled that bad. I've ne the post What's, office has never dead. called me and told me that my stuff was there. Your the post office has never things. called me. Your family does the weirdest things. It was. It was. Look, I opened that egg and it was just just goo, and it was, I almost threw up. It was <laughs> oh, so nasty. Why did you open? <laughs> I wanted to know. That's um, so gross. One of them had like macaroni in it. And I mean, I would have opened one. the Easter egg too. Did it stink before you opened it though? Yes. Psychopath. 
Sorry. This is my bad. That was bad. So congratulations, Aunt Sarah. Hit it. Oh. Your, fa- your family does it. She, she doesn't things. listen. She doesn't listen to Yeah, my talk to Check this out right here. <laughs> uh, I watched I'm, this. It's this expen- is funny. The, uh, so we got uh, a basketball game going with... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> And so, so it's a basketball game at a school, and you know how they do like the the game's almost over, so they like, they give a freebie shot to somebody. It's so like, no. they give a freebie shot to somebody who's in a wheelchair, and the defender said, "Not today." Just, I mean, the, and that he he no. hits it into the bleachers, Bro. and then he turns around and does a scream flex like. <laughs> hey, bro. There's only like, hey, there's but not no like just like not like a defender in front. Like no, runs bro. from the chase down like LeBron. <laughs> that is hey, that's good defense. How is how is that a crime? Let's Running call it what it is. Court. That's good defense. All right, here's our news. It says Florida man arrested after slapping woman in the face with a slice of pizza. And the guy He's looks like one of the <laughs> allegedly. He, he looks like one of the terrorists at 9/11. Seriously. It's like these this is what we're doing these days. How did he I, I want to know what she said. I do said. have some questions for you. Yeah, that. I want to know what she said to uh the fact that he did not hit her and he hit her he slapped her with pizza shows some restraint. So what was that? What was that message? I saw my name. I don't know. This is so funny. <laughs> so it just gets and these people are protesting war and the guy walks up, oh, war is wrong. Because apart from the Second World War, and they're all look at him, he's like, Well that was, that was fighting fascism, wasn't it? Yeah. And we're like, Oh yeah, I guess so. Yeah. And and then he comes back and they say that apart from the Second World War and the Crimean War. And they're like, Oh and, and he just like, keeps well, adding all the yeah, they're like, war. Yeah, I guess we agree with that. And then they come he's like, Well, c- come here and then they come back and make signs that she says, Kill, 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 <laughs> kill, kill, kill. <laughs> kill. That's great. That's um uh, an acknowledgement term you can use in the army. Like if like if you're talking to someone in your leadership and they give you information, you're you know like the traditional appropriate response would be like Roger Sergeant or like Roger Sir or something like that. But like you can also say kill. That's acceptable. So that's what I do. I think it's funny. <laughs> like he's like, yeah, you tracking? Yeah, kill. Uh, you, so you can say that as yes. Yes, I love that. You know, we haven't come up with, like, Look, our, a, a phrase to, like, like a hay bear phrase, which means just, like, it's acknowledgement of you're a podcast listener. See, so like, Kill Raj, SFC. Oh, huh. that's very clever. Mm-hmm. I guess we should get in our topic. Sorry. I have a couple emails. I don't know if we want to read this. We can. Are they good? Um, yeah. Read them. I, I know that you screen them before we read them. Does Not it? always. I yeah. Turn it sideways. I think it's very, 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 very. Yeah, I'd like to be able to read. Did we read we that didn't. One? Oh, we Which have one? not read that. That's aggressive no. off the rip. Yeah. Someone taped this thing to a tree. There's all right. Someone read oh, it. Oh, it starts with Harry. This is for you, Harry. Um so this next part ah. is gonna be all caps. All caps. Harry, comma, get your facts right. And all caps. That's not how the movie works at all. Talking about really Sharknado, that I guess. Yeah. First, there's six movies, not just three. Uh, I'm going to say the emoji is the, like, eyes closed shooting clouds out of the nose. I'm going to guess there. You didn't say who it was. It's Jordan Calhoun. Oh, I was right about the emoji. Um, what? Wait, can you read that? What? Like, you have your contacts ah, in? Yeah, I have my contacts in. I just couldn't, like, the yellow's a blur. And the camera's angle. like, let's make it harder. I'm just guessing. And now... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, she gets her hand bitten off in the beginning of the second one, not the first one. Oh. It starts as a hurricane off of the Santa Monica Pier in California, and it's so bad 
Then it uh, turns into a tornado. But because it was a hurricane first, I picked up sharks. She must be strong. It's <laughs> crazy. Yeah. Multiple um, sharks. Several. That's how yeah, she learned several. how to fight them. I'm fully convinced that if a tornado can pick up a house, then a hurricane can pick up a shark and sharks. So ex-pro surfer turned bar owner turned shark slayer Finn Shepard is worried about his ex-wife. What is this in reference to? Is she just Sharknado. giving us, is she this just is giving us the movie has, of Sharknado? She's giving us lore. line what, by line. Part, stop. This, Was is this, the, this is a movie she's referencing? Yeah. Sharknado. Sharknado. So that is a movie. About. Harry I, talked about it. Yeah. I, I remember you talked about it, but yeah, it's six a, movies? Yes. Yeah. Six There's movies. six movies they're called like, Sharknado? They're not. By the way, we had... This like is the IMDb of it. The worst tornadoes in Delaware's history or something they're, Saturday. They're they, rough. Yeah, it's like they four have dead. In it though. Dude, I thought about it. <laughs> oh, there they are. Okay, I guess it is really. Mm. No, the, dude, we have men in our church have videos of a house blowing down and killing the guy inside. Like in Greenwood. It's mm. awful. I was in um you didn't get a moment of silence, Dave. You just went right into your thoughts. He's like, yeah, that poor soul probably went straight yeah. to hell. I, think I gave a lot of moments of silence All right. while he was talking. Finish this email. Do we have taps? Anyway. Uh, <laughs> do we need to go through the entire plot Take your hat of off. Show some respect. No. Shark, it's the victims of Sharknado? Uh, Here we go. No, we'll we never just, know. All right, Jordan, can we just... Let's go back to can it. Can we just address the fact that we think she has it. an unhealthy obsession with sharks? She does. And I think you need to You'll see... You'll never know the, the plot. Only way I don't even remember this plot. I think she needs to see a therapist about Put it. Put your knee down so the video doesn't block your face. You <laughs> Go to betterhelp.com, Jordan. Betterhelp.com. I want to finish the rest of the email, Cam. Send okay. it back. The people are going to want to know what happens to this ex-pro thing with person. Finn oh, Shepard is worried about his ex-wife, who he's still in love with, I'm and his kids. I'm to drink. All he can find is defense is a chainsaw, so that's what he uses to defend himself. So with his best friend, an acquaintance, and a, like, 23-year-old girl who works for him, all pack up and head to L.A. to get his family. David's in the way of the email. When he gets there, the ex-wife's new husband won't let him mourn them, and then she's eaten, and he's eaten by a shark. Son isn't there. He's a pilot at school, so they load back with his ex-wife and daughter to go get the son. When they go get the son, they build bombs, and his son and the employee get in the helicopter and drop the bombs into the tornado. The girl falls out into one. Oh, well, she's gone. Meanwhile, on the ground, a shark is heading straight for Finn's daughter, who he pushes out of the way and sacrifices his life for, except his chainsaw is still going, so he cuts himself out of the shark and lives. It's like Jonah. But since Jonah had a chainsaw. Yeah. Also, Without divine intervention. That would, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> also, <laughs> surprise, Shawty, after he cuts Shawty? himself out, he pulls the girl that fell out of the helicopter out, and she survives too. They're both in the same shark. What are the odds of like, what are you the know, odds? a tornado you full of thousands sharks? Thousands of sharks, and then you, you're the same one. Who's Shawty? Yeah. I've heard that before. Is that reference to this? No, it's just like. It's a baseball player. No, nah, just reference to a person. I love sharks, but much like people, dogs, etc., not all of them are good. Uh, there are some that will be evil just because I roll. I roll. <laughs> you need to know how to defend yourself. The situation never calls for it. it well, I, uh, the I only thing think... I got out of this email is, uh, one, I will never watch those movies, and two, Finn is the name of my cat. Yep. Well. Shark, they're, they're comedies. There's like a parody. They're supposed to be stupid. There's six of them, so they're pretty common. Yeah. So it's funny. I think you'd, you'd watch for the humor aspect. I, I think if there's shark natos, why don't you just move somewhere else? Because, you know, I don't think <laughs> anybody is expecting a shark nato. If it's happened well, six times, I don't think nobody mean, like, ever like, like, what, listen, David, that tornado that came through <laughs> last Saturday did not have any sharks. Caught everyone by surprise. Yeah, I'm yeah. A, listen. And if you just throw some sharks in there, yeah, you're catching everyone yeah. by surprise. Yeah. Yeah. The first one, the first one is a tragedy. The second one, a coincidence. If it happens three times, I'm out, bro. I don't think people in LA they? are like, hmm, I wonder if my house has a uh, shark nato insurance yeah. on it. <laughs> I mine does. I well, here's the deal. You have They're places. Not like, Good. Do you think insurance sorry. companies would pay for that? Shark like, NATO insurance? If you yeah. have like, the like, active shark God NATO insurance, hit. oh, for sure they would let like, they well, would let you buy in and pay for an insurance. No, no, policy. I'm saying a shark NATO hits Cam's house right now. You know, okay, shark <laughs> right between the two buck mounts. A shark head just pops through. 
wagging his tail outside and like head, jaw inside like the little fish things like the the flay of fish one. yeah i mean it what, was, would, what would your insurance agent said like uh yeah we can't cover that i mean what that would fall under tornado insurance would it not that would fall i don't know you'd have to get the act of god natural disasters <laughs> or something i don't know i'll say this harrison has the most um re- best podcast takes for the reels and stuff. I find myself always clipping the stuff that he's yeah. talking about. I was going to say the same thing. It's always most, of the, most of the shorts are definitely all, Harrison, David, and then Dustin saying something outrageous. Well, it's usually that. I'm always a commenter of no, what's being said. You're the guy who like does the video pants. Just say, hey. <laughs> <laughs> you do a great job. <laughs> yeah, bro. But I pick out what's going to be on there. But it, the best stuff is use what? Say a bad word really quick and that'll be a real. Yeah, Uh-oh. and it'll just be you. Uh, go ahead. It'll, it'll be you viral. zoomed in, and then all of us will like look and like zoomed in, gasp faces yeah. towards you. <gasps> <gasps> Do you hear what he said? That's say it. That? That's, that's, all right, ready. One, two, three. <gasps> there it is. Why isn't he doing it? I'm not. I'm he's not. not he's not a follower. I'm not a sheep. He's <laughs> a leader. He's a leader. It would have been follower. funny if he would have said the word, and then the video would still cut into him. Let's see, Autumn Payton. I know her. I don't. And you skip. Mike, don't say it. <laughs> What happened? Nothing. We're going for like. I don't want to. Oh, this is that good. email. All right, no. yeah, yeah. Uh, Autumn Payton, uh, which is odd because that's not her name. <laughs> it's, it's Autumn, Autumn Timmons. Autumn Timmons. Right? All right, yeah. Autumn. What are you trying to say to the whole world right now? Hello, fellow '90s peeps. Luckily, David has made the cut. David just and barely. Dustin on the both separate I'm, spectrums. I'm the. I'm. The nineties. I was I'm all of the nineties. Yeah. Yeah. So I my think, thoughts on this ant debate is mm-hmm. oh we're back at it. Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> we might as well this, change her. This is never gonna <laughs> die. Uh, we might as well change the title of this podcast you to know, Ants. You understand? Can we? we started talking about this before Youth of Blaze. Oh my god. <laughs> like twenty twenty four. It's a hey, thought provoker, dude. It's a huh. thought provoker. So my thoughts on this How ant long? debate is who is to say ants don't already have the mind capacity of a human? God. Spelled capacity wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Which is ironic. It's com- this. It's com- com- capacity. Com- compass- like capacity. Dealing with compasses as opposed to capacity. Yeah. How do you know that ants really don't already have compasses? Bryce is like, I'm glad she has Peyton on her last name, not mine. <laughs> they <laughs> are too small to even matter. Humans win. Agreed. And the 112-year-olds, can I just say that my five-year-old can throw a punch? If any of these kids have some self-defense skills, they will wait for that perfect moment to get you to their to your knees. 12-year-old si- win. Side note, a 12-year-old needs to be interviewed to defend all 12-year-olds. Well, here's the thing. They don't have self-defense skills. <laughs> they don't even have coping skills. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it could be. And she says you. her five year old can throw a punch. I don't know, Autumn. Be stronger. It's, it's, cute. Yeah. it's cute when like the kids do like the Yeah. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah like Here. that's adorable. Yeah. yeah. Just and, like, you know, then the dad gets on his knees and like, oh, oh no. <laughs> I can oh. I can just think look at pretty sure that's the wrong age. <laughs> just yeah. look at just look at Bryson and and go, Hey, let me ask you something. Shut up. <laughs> yeah, but what happened? Yeah, but that's like, you're not even trying to harm your kid. Do, we should make a call. Let me ask you something. Shut, Shut up. Shut up. And then just hang up. Yeah. <laughs> just hang up. Well, look. It's so funny. In, in uh, this specific reality, the five-year-old's trying to fight, but she's not trying to fight because she doesn't want to hurt her kid or whatever. Exactly. If you try to harm your child, you will win. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm, and I would try. I would yep. try so Dude. hard. Um, I'm looking forward to the dinosaur episode, your organization slash podcast cred. Cred, period. I don't understand that. I was hoping you guys would figure it out. Your organization slash podcast cred, period. I completely disagree. Great job, guys. Keep it going. I don't know. I don't know. Credentials? I don't know. Yeah, but I don't know. What is she saying? I disagree to the dinosaurs or the cred? I think she's. No, so, I think I'm she's, also looking forward to the dinosaur episode. Period. I get it. Yeah, your, it's a separate thought. New statement. Your organization new, slash podcast cred. Period. Credential. I'm assuming. I think cred is supposed to be abbreviated for credentials. Yes, usually. Yeah. Is like the criticizing. You know how you have street cred. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I know, but it's... I get she, that, but I don't... She, that, that still doesn't make sense. Your organization podcast cred... I completely, I completely disagree. What's she disagreeing she, with? Is she saying she agrees with what people are saying about it being unorganized? No. Or she likes it... She likes it the way it is. Is I think that's what I'm gathering She from says, this. great job. Keep it going. That's why I, I'm gathering that she likes it. I mean, it. I assume she I liked it, so... And not... All right, thanks, oh, Autumn. All right. Timmons. Um, fact about 2009 chimpanzee attack. This is the conversation we had with yeah, Hannah. Yeah, and we on probably the phone. got everything wrong about this. Story. I don't care. I still don't like them. Uh, my uh, mother in law listened to the episode about animal attacks. Mm-hmm. And she's like, wow, two hour episode. That's great. Well, awesome. She, my favorite part was when David's wife came on and was talking. I was like, what? Oh, no. <laughs> she's like, yeah, David's wife. I was like, uh, you're talking about, uh, and she's like, yeah, Hannah. I was like, no, it's not. No. No. She's like, oh, I must have zoned out. But yep, yep, I zoned out. <laughs> that wasn't. <laughs> she said, just keep giving just that like button, keep sharing. Yeah. You know, no, she, yeah, she thought she was your wife. No, but she, hey, Hannah, Hannah, Hannah she wife. liked your interview. So, whatever. So, since I didn't have the facts about the lady that got her face ripped off when you called, here's Charla Nash's story. Charla? What a rough name. Jarla Nelson was attacked by her friend's 14-year-old chimpanzee. I love how they age it. They give it the name. Who names a chimpanzee Travis? Yeah. (laughs) Who names a chimpanzee? This is my monkey, Travis. Travis, who weighed 200 pounds. He attacked Charla after her friend put Xanax in his afternoon tea in an effort to calm him down. Calm down, that's fine. Because he was slowing, he was showing agitated behavior. This led to him viciously attacking Charla and using his teeth to tear off her hands mm. and then attack her face. Tear off her hands. The attack lasted 12 minutes and caused Charla to lose 50% of her blood and left her completely unrecognizable. She was rushed to the hospital where she underwent a seven hour surgery. The attack caused brain damage and Charla had to have a face replacement and also had a hand replacement. Which was later reversed. Just a warning. <laughs> if you Google her story, <laughs> some of the images are quite disturbing. I just well, I guess if you give a you, monkey no, Xanax, I'm out. I love how it says uh, she had to have a face replacement and also a hand replacement, which was later reversed. So the know, doctor was like, "Here's a new hand." Actually, I'm going to need actually, that back. Actually, you stop <laughs> making payments on the hand. We're going to have to. Collect. I'm going to need that back. Yeah, uh, the hand repose. Uh, yeah. <laughs> 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 like Doug the bounty hunter beep, beep, comes for you. Beep, beep, yeah, you you're beep, sleeping. You what's that doing here? Your house, yeah. Chops your hand off and takes it with him. Put like a, <laughs> a boot, it. a boot on a her boot hand. Sorry, I th- thought I gave him a Xanax. Instead, ah, I, 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 it turns out I gave him... stuck with two left him... hands. <laughs> yeah, no, it's... Look. She was like, I thought I gave Travis a Xanax. Instead, I gave him Adderall. Sorry. <laughs> no. <laughs> so I'm like... This isn't Xanax, That's it's unfortunate. Crack. So today... Yep. And speaking of animal attacks... Mm-hmm. Um, um, so are we going to explain... So our nah, next... we don't think okay. we need to... Well, Today I was at the job site. Yes, and there's a neighbor who has a pit bull and a, like a pug, and, and they they're were fighting. Always out in the yard. Always out. Like the neighbor, I've watched him. He's probably my age, mm-hmm. walking across the street and doing stuff. Walking back, and the dogs are in the middle of the road, and he's like, "Say, say, Charlie, Charlie, get out of the road, Charlie, get out of the road." But he doesn't like go get them out of the road, and they live like on a on a curb. Like it's, I mean, and they're just in the road. Mm-hmm. And he's not going to get them. So I, I, I'm just like, what's wrong with this owner and wrong with these dogs? Like, get their dog out of the road. Like, yeah. cars are going by, yeah. and they're like putting on their brakes, beeping the horn. And the guy's like, car, get out of the road. He's yelling, but he's not going to get them. So I've thought this is weird. Not well behaved dogs. Whatever owner's kind of absent. Yep. There's a lady walking her dog like a little um, corgi, mm-hmm. walking it down the road. Mm-hmm. She walks past me, probably ten. I mean, like ten yards. She walks past that house and the pug runs out and starts running in circles around the corgi and they start like snapping at each other. So I'm working, probably I'm like 40 yards from that house at this point and the pit bull comes out and starts attacking this lady's dog. The corgi. The corgi. Picks it up and is just, I'm not being smart, eating it, like just destroying mm. this dog. I mean, I am over there. And I hear the pit bull, and I hear Cam's the lady he's like, oh, screaming, man, crazy. screaming, and all the dogs going crazy. I mean, it sounded like you know a, 
like a, a dog attack. I'm like, oh, this is a yeah. fight. So I start, I run over there and I'm like, oh, great. You know, I'm like, what do I do here? You like, recorded <laughs> it with your phone. No, so I'm Landscape literally mode? thinking, no, I didn't pull my phone out. I <laughs> dropped my tool sideways. belt. I had my tool belt. So I dropped Body, it. I ran over there. Camera, but I'm the serious. Holes. Look. Okay, so I'm a, I am have my concealed carry permit. I'm like, what do I, I don't, I wasn't sure at this point if the lady was getting attacked or if, because there's like a car in front of, like she walked past and there was a car. So I'm like, what am I going to mm. get into when I turn this corner? Um, and so when I, I was running, the homeowner comes out and he was probably 10 feet in front of me. And so he starts beating his dog, drop the other dog. And the, the little pug is like harassing the dog in the dog's mouth. And the lady has her leash and she's getting pulled around and she's trying to get in there. And finally he like beats his dog and she drops it. And then she tries to come back and he like kicks it. And I'm standing there like, what do I do? I don't want to kick his dog. I'm just like literally. Just standing there like, yeah, this is crazy. It was kind of awkward because I heard the scream. So I ran mm. and I'm there. But it was like, I can't get involved. Like this is the home yeah. of the dog owner. I'm not going to get involved. Something After- I don't need to be. But I'm still standing here like a foot away. Just like, what do I do? And, you know, the dog finally got off and no one said anything. Like, I didn't say anything to her. He didn't say anything to me. But it was like, and I walked away and he went back into his house and he and her dog's laying on the ground. And so I just like was walking away and I just put thumbs up and she's like, just hands up. I don't know. I'm like, oh. You gave a thumbs up to the lady like, with like, the dying no, dog? I think I just, no, it wasn't a thumbs up. It was like, oh, was good. I just like, pictured Cameron. Like, I don't like, know she's, what to do. And she's like, oh. she's distraught. And Cam's just like, I think she said, thank you. I, I, but it was just like we didn't really say anything. I was just yeah. like, "This is not the time to say." Everyone okay? No, we good? Is everything good? So then he came you back just out. On the, you go on the ground to the, the dog. <laughs> <laughs> you good? <laughs> you good, bro? Throw like you throw this a treat dog was on the old. Ground. It had like a gray beard, like gray underneath, like Corgi? gray in here. Like, yeah, it was old. Like David, it was not having a good day. Oh my God. Was um. <laughs> so, anyways, he dog. comes back out and gets her, and they get in the truck, his truck. And they drive down the road. So I don't know what happened. Somebody's in the vet. But he like oh, yeah. he like drove back and he got out and slammed the door. He was all frustrated. But yeah. This was today. This was today. That sounds so funny. It was it was not like I was like, remember those pit bull attacks I was telling you about? Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. And so that's what's going through my head. I'm You're like, ready, oh, dude. here we go. I'm like, I'll tell you one thing. This is mauling the woman. I'm not going to stand there and spray it with a hose. Yeah. <laughs> that, um, that's what's going through my head. She's like, she's like, help me. Cameron's like, I forgot my hose at home. There's, there's no, have my there's no connection. I, I, don't see, I don't see a, a faucet, a spigot <laughs> anywhere. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> what if, what if, what if, like, he runs over there. He's got a hose in his hand. He's like, I don't have anywhere. And like his gun's showing. He's like, I I, I can't. There's no spigot. I'm, we're in I, the mode. Guys, uh, I speaking of also speaking of animal attacks, uh, mm-hmm. I was scrolling through YouTube today. These are the best things I've ever had in my life. And that life. video They're popped amazing. up where yeah. that bobcat starts chasing that hiker. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh. Have you seen that video? Yes. No. And he's have just you, like, he's like you, he's just hiking like through the woods, just like as dude, hikers do. Yeah. Yep, as they do, and mm-hmm. and then all of a sudden, like the video, the video starts like as he's turning around. And he turns around and you're like looking and you can't see what's happening at first. And he just starts like growling. He's like, no. And you're like, yeah. And I'm like, what is this guy doing? And then all of a sudden this like bobcat or like, I don't even like Mm -hmm. whatever the big cats are. Yeah. It comes walking out of the tree line. And it's like, it's just like slowly following him. Yeah. Uh, Mountain lion. And he's just like, yeah, 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 yeah. That one right there. And he's a just, cougar. Like, yeah, and he's just like yelling at it. Oh, and he's panther. like, I, I don't I'm know. Just what joking. It <laughs> it's a cougar. Is I'm that what that says? Bear. Yeah. That's also that's an old lady who marries young men. I'm just. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like, so he starts Six like yelling minutes. at it. Wow. And he's just like, and it's Sorry, just like, Dustin. it's just hissing oh, uh-huh. at him and everything else. <laughs> that's so messed <laughs> I missed it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what I'm going to need a f- someone to fill in here I was not paying attention You know, watch this guy get eaten or something I was way too focused on the video
<laughs> Sorry. It's okay to laugh. It's all right. It's I'm not going to. <laughs> it's okay to laugh. Right? No. Oh. no. Wow. That was perfect. Whew. So, yeah, this there video. There it is. Proof. Uh, <laughs> Viral in, video. In, yeah, in case you guys are ever wondering who the funniest on the podcast is, <laughs> uh, I'd like to reference you back to this episode. <laughs> Man, that was... <laughs> I wasn't ready. <laughs> I wasn't... I wasn't ready. Oh, man, that's I'm hilarious. legally obligated yeah. to try to divert so this, this to something else. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. So, yeah, this so the guy. guy's, like, walking, like, on this. Thank you. How's Thank he you. bleeping? I'm that's crazy. That... Thank you. He's doing a good job making the. Look at that thing, dude. Can you imagine if a shot oh. talking, please. He's screaming at this outline. Oh, and it's not scared. He's got a gun. Does he? I thought the video had he had a gun. <laughs> oh. Dude, I don't know how this no this mountain lion keeps I don't know. I if so I'll I'll yeah. edit it. This guy's like a pocket bleeper that he keeps hitting at this yeah, mountain lion. At the weirdest moments. Yeah. He's like you can only hear every other word he's saying because he's just hitting his bleep, yeah. bleep thing on his yeah, it. There must be a new hiking thing on Amazon. You can get. I think it's on his shoe. It's right shoe. It just keeps it just, on coming. It's stalking him, dude. I'd pick be picking up a rock for sure, though. Nah, I don't know if you wanted like. And no, no, it, no, 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 no. I mean, for like, if he runs up on me, I <laughs> clock him in the head. <laughs> he calls it a little kitty cat. He's hungry. Look at him. Yeah, he dude. Well, this was it's in just like this was in Utah. It said right. Yeah, in I Utah. would think. That pla- usually places like that, they like either require or request that you carry a gun with you. Really? Cause of, well, yeah, because you have panthers, bears, all this stuff that could eat I didn't you. know it was a requirement, though. That's pretty interesting. Some places are. Like, I know in Alaska, I think you are supposed to carry a gun yeah, with you. Yeah, I mean, it's guys. a good thing that this He's thing... He's getting his walk-in, though, for yeah, sure. Yeah, I know, dude. His heart rate is so it's high. Six he minutes keeps going. All the calories. Yeah, dude, it's like six minutes, this thing. I I mean, I just watched it like a um short, like oh a short my. version. Look, dude! That, oh my goodness! I would, dude. Nope, that right there. That's the terrifying. The cat did like a juke where it looked like he was sprinting. His hand. Nope, bro, that's terrifying, man. I don't want to do it. It's literally just walking right behind him, and it's him. close. And he's like just it's not around. like I he's don't like, want to like, be probably a part what, of that. That cat's like what 15, 20 feet yeah, away. Man. Nah, it's, yeah, it's be, I feel like it's closer. Dude, that's five yards. So terrifying, dude. Well, the thing is, like, I feel like it could. Like two leaps and it's right on top of him. Yeah, if it wanted to be. Oh, that would, dude. That's so. That's <laughs> so scary, dude. Th- this guy's so much calmer than I would be. Well, I mean, after a while, I'm not being smart, but he's been following him for five minutes. I'm sure you're like. That's four minutes twenty eight seconds. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he's been following for four minutes. At some, I'm sure you're gonna be like. I'm about to die, but still, this is a little odd that he's been four minutes, me and him, yeah. five feet from each other. Yeah. Like, you know, I mean, I, I, yeah, dude, that's at what point do you charge it? No, uh, zero points at zero points. Also, it's probably the worst idea to try to run, run away, right? Yeah, you cannot, uh, well, dude. I wouldn't like even two, think about it. Like, you have to run away like three leaps. It's like on you. Yeah. Abner ran away from. Um, and you just gotta yeah, try to stab, stab backwards. Stab back. uh, you just listen, that's the, sh- the uh, shaft of the spear backwards. Either yeah. that, or you have to run like Jonah ran to uh, <laughs> out like, of Nineveh, like yeah. John like to the tomb. Yeah, it's like a three days Down journey. He Joppa. made it in one. That's yeah. yeah. You got it. You got to run like Joppa. yeah. You got to run like Jonah. So yeah, he probably has trekked uh, his Apple Watch. I want to like, know how great man. Oh wait, how? Well, he's running away. You gotta you gotta pause it. You gotta. All right, so it just takes off. What scared him? I don't know. I don't Maybe know. he was like, man, this guy's huge. He like runs back with five more. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, that would not be good. <laughs> dude, dude, my guy's why, taking it well. Why? Yeah, dude, he's so calm. I haven't seen. I haven't seen this part of the video. All I saw was like a like a thirty Bro, second. Bro, I would clip. be getting away. I'm not waiting for that corner. To... Uh oh. Hey, Mark I, Brown. I, I would throw up a little bit 
Bro, that when is did that one. fake. When did that fake out thing? That's that was that was <laughs> unnatural. <laughs> it looked Bro. like a demon. Uh, Look, this is insane. Oh yeah, it's just Bro, so funny because like I've seen I've seen my cat do that. This my one cat jumps see, around the corner and does it to me, and it's way less. What is? Ha- it just out of nowhere. This dirt bike is tipped. Grizzly bear grizzly just died. Oh just my! Just jumps out of nowhere. But gets scared. Oh, because there's the den. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. Can you imagine, like, what an inopportune moment to wreck your bike? He literally so is a foot from them. But yeah. Did he hit the mo- hit that motorcycle? Or is it the other guy? It's the other guy revving. I think it's the other you can yeah, hear him the still guy revving. on the camera is probably, it's like a camera on his bike, probably. So that's a clutch move that he revved it. Yeah, yeah. Did you guys see the other one where like the guy's on um he's Dude, riding he was a mountain a bike away from just yeah he's like riding a mountain bike and he looks over to his right and he just sees like a bear just running at him through the trees yes yes, yes. guys this is really about to turn into animal attacks part three I know yeah we need yeah, to move on before part two <laughs> we need to we need to move on here it is the one well, last one oh a bite. Oh, Peloton commercial. <laughs> You're not going to get far away on a Peloton. No. No. <laughs> That's actually kind of bad. I lost weight, but not the way I wanted. <laughs> yeah. This is wild. Guys, on a mountain bike. You might want to turn the sound down. I don't think they can hear it on audio. I don't know. Oh. Oh, oh dude. No. No, no. Lou, he starts. Oh, it's like, my. dude. That would be, I would be. It looks like two. Oh or f- my goodness, bro! <sighs> I'm not having like that is watch, a big watching this bear. It's only- I'm talking. This bear is the size of like a couch. The grizzly bears are <laughs> enormous. <laughs> it's like a refrigerator, dude, and it's still chasing him. It's only like the only bear larger than that is polar oh, bear. Man. Oh my gosh, it's still following him. And it just it looks like it's <clears throat> jogging. It's like, ominous, dude. And you don't know how far away. Like, oh, doesn't he ooh. come up like on like a log in the road in the path or something like that? Yes. Uh, he just starts running. This makes me want to throw up. Yeah, right here. Look, tree, and he's just like, "I'm out of here, bro." Dude, I don't know if I would have. <sighs> he. I want to throw look, up. look, and he sees it on the trail. He turns back and looks and sees it. He's on foot now. He's on foot, and there's oh, 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 oh no! Oh my goodness! Dude. Oh my god! That's like something out of a horror movie. Oh, so yeah, if you guys are listening, you can you can find these videos. Where do you go now, uh, though. Grizzly man chases what? guy on mountain go. bike. Um, you give up mountain biking? That's for sure. Wait. See, this is a friendly bear. Look at this bear. He's just chill. He's like, no, 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 sir. I mean, you can't really do anything at this point. Shoot it. Our it kind of looks like Missy. Bears are just absolutely terrifying. I could have said something. It's just enjoying the views. He's just like, what's yeah. up, bro? It's location, location, location. <laughs> you know, how could you possibly attack a human in such a Is that what the bear's saying? Yeah. It's like, man. I think he might have trout on the mind. Yeah. This bear standing by the river. He's like, hey, man, how's this fishing spot? You catching anything today? The bear is not hasn't even looked at him yet. I don't want it to. I want him to look at him. No. Look at him. He's like, <gasps> N- now what? Now what? You got to go. You the have bear to pet the bear sits down behind Ooh. beside him. You have to go pet the bear. He no. sits down. <laughs> no. You scratch him behind his ear. Please don't st- he should. How long is this video? He's just sitting there, right beside this dude. Yeah. This guy's not shaking. You go anywhere. Oh. Uh, the guy now. The guy's. Oh wait, hey, bro. Hey. You go anywhere in the wilderness like this, you better be strapped. Why is he dude. so worried about videoing though, dude? I'm out of there. Oh my. Oh. Oh. Dude. There was a hundred bears in the river. That's a lot of bears. All right, we got to move on. All right, so topic. Um, My heart rate's through the roof right now. Ah. That's weird for a man that's seen, a, you know, people's heads blown off. I know. Allegedly. Right. But not bears. Not bears. Not bears. All right, what are we talking about, boys? Easter's. 
That's a Easter Easter Sunday. It was yesterday. The only, uh, the only very early, <laughs> very early the next morn. You just run into a playlist of Who's animal that? videos. <laughs> okay. I um I had a list, but I can't get on my phone. What was my list on the things for Easter that we were talking about? Um. <sighs> On the group chat? Yeah. Let's all look on our phones. You got it, yeah. pal. This is like Fun the kind of candy Today consumed. is Passover. Today is Passover. Yeah. And then Sunday is Easter Sunday. I don't know who posts all these Resurrection things. Resurrection the- Oh, my God. What's up? Like you said. Why does every the date. pagan holiday, except for Christmas, have like... A real push for candy. Did you copy? Candy? It? Yeah, I did tell it. Candy Christmas companies. Got a push for candy, though. It's nowhere near what Easter and Halloween are. Uh, no, yeah, not. I as, mean, there's like not near they're like the countdown chocolate or whatever. But yeah, dude, Easter and Halloween, the both both of the pagan holidays, um, <laughs> have like a t- complete corner. Talking about two of the yeah. three pagan holidays, Cameron. yeah, two. Of but three. yeah, but like you know, candy companies are all about making anything a, a celebration. Christmas yeah. is literally known like candy canes are like the biggest thing. Yeah. I like candy. Yeah. candy. If you're a candy Candy's, company, candy is your whole entire them. marketing is like, let's try to figure out a way to make this candy relevant to the holiday. Yeah. All right, what do you guys? What's your stand on Peeps? I like them. nasty. What? They're okay. Peeps are God's <laughs> grace on man. <coughs> you like them? He said, "I love Peeps." Hey, that's a living hell down there. Let's give him some Peeps. I don't know. That's what he said about that. It's absolutely what happened. I think you're right. You're a big time peep fan. I, um, I like peeps. It. I do. They're okay. No, dude, they're great. They're okay. It's like marshmallows. They're marshmallows. Y- yep. Yeah. They're flavored marshmallows. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. In, In the, the size of chickens, <laughs> of little ducks. Yeah. But, dressed know, not, like chickens. Not life. Sh- not life changing. Peeps are the eggnog of Easter. It's a seasonal thing. I, I know don't you're trying to no, sell it to me right Reese's now. Reese's peanut butter eggs are the best. The they're bro. good. He's yeah, they're the best. The best. But I'm saying eggnog is only available at Christmas. So but are there Reese's are eggs. No, no, no. Reese's eggs. eggs. Yes, it's a shape of it's an just egg. I can get that any time. Okay, here's yeah, a candy that you can only get at Easter. Can't. Are you gonna call? Are you gonna Bro, say? Bro, I cannot walk into any store and get peeps. You can Amazon them. You can get peeps. Oh come on! You at can the get store? peeps at, at the store. Yes. Yeah. They have Bro, like. I can always have, get those. They I, have you know Halloween what? peeps. I know I can always get the. They pe- have pumpkin peeps. <laughs> <laughs> pumpkin peeps. This man, this they man are, is they're, dropping they're, truth they're bombs just marshmallows, on you right now. <laughs> but yeah. Pumpkin peeps. Um. Pumpkin peeps. Are you gonna say that? Uh, what? He was going to say the 29th the Reese's Cadbury peanut butter eggs. egg was Ugh. king. Oh, I didn't even see Among that. Among other favorites, Reese's peanut butter cup, Starburst, Easter jelly beans, and Hershey milk chocolate each scored no one spots for five states. Then came Kinder's chocolate candy egg. And ki- now, here's the thing Starburst that is only out. The here's the thing that is only out at Easter time, and it's probably my favorite yep. candy, Easter candy behind the Reese's egg. And it is Starburst funny. jelly beans. Starburst jelly beans. Hmm. That's it. Dude, really? Starburst the jelly best, beans are the so best jelly good. Beans. You so cannot good. find a better jelly I didn't bean. even know that was a thing. Bro, they are Life so changing. good. And you can only get them at Easter. Yeah. And when and so when Easter comes around, I always like stock up on like two or three bags of Starburst What's jelly that beans. Coconut nest. I didn't. That sounds gross. Um Chocolate that covered marshmallow, marshmallow eggs. eggs. Had never heard of that in my this life. This is a countdown, so it's like from sixteen. Yeah, you I can do get not. Those. You can get those year round Cadbury though. Cadbury cream, cream eggs. eggs. I feel like they're more pot thirty. I only hear about them at Easter, and I don't like them. Brock, you can, can, oh, the caramel ones are good. Jelly bird hmm. eggs. Oof. Never tried those. She's <laughs> got two heads. Oh, That's sad a, news. Yeah, sad. try the caramel ones. Marshmallow I think I'd like Easter egg better. hunt. Oil wrapped wrapped chocolate chocolate not a fan. I feel like we could put these in a slingshot. So fo- and, yes, yes. Here's my issue. Weapons. Here's my issue with the these foil wrapped for chocolate throwing, eggs. Throwing, dude. You can it's impossible so to get far. all the foil off. I don't and think you always end up eating some, some of it. I can't stand having to unwrap every little yeah. I know. Yep. piece of I know. chocolate. It gets I can stuck never to them, dude. It's so. If it gets above, if that top chocolate gets above like forty degrees, used to be a big solid deal. It's all milk. Yeah. How many of those have you gotten in your life? So many. We, uh, so many. we went to New York. Start at the ears, huh? Do you start at the <clears throat> ears? 
Yeah, dude. The solid milk My chocolate bunny. My mom has a. I bite the nose. I'll be honest. One pound Reese's, uh, bunny. Yep. At her house right now. Yeah. Those yeah. Are She's good. been slowly like, like lobotomizing down. Like one thing was like like the the top of the head. I'm like, well, this is like brain surgery here. They got peanut butter too. How and long then, have yeah. you been doing yeah. that? Um, diabetes. Since the fourth of March, because we went to New York City for Root's birthday. Diabetes. Um, yeah, seriously, she's just like <laughs> slicing. It. Yeah, it's just like halfway. It's like fully decapitated now. Um, now diabetes. it's only a half pound. Have Di- you seen that old Di- man? Diabetes. It's that commercial. <laughs> I got diabetes. I got diabetes. <laughs> diabetes. Russell Stover. The old. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh yeah, those only, are minis. Oh, no, mini pass one. on the minis. Number one yeah. is the. Cadbury caramel eggs. Okay, let's see. see. All right. Robin. No. No. Time out. no, 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 no. Hey, 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 hey. Nasty. Hey, hey. Stop, bro. I cannot. I am sick and tired. Straight? Of the hate that Whoppers get. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. I'm getting a drink. That was good. I missed it. That was good. Instead you of saying gay, I said straight. Instead of saying gay, straight. No, listen, I'm tired of the hate that Whoppers get. Whoppers are good. You really weren't budging, were you? I no. have never been enthused. They're not, like, life-changing, though. No, I like- they are so good. I'm the guy who, like, walks into a Wawa, and you know how they have Whoppers in, like, the big it carton? Says, it looks hey, like a milk what? carton. Shut up! Or whatever it was. <laughs> Let me ask you That's something. It. That's it. Let me ask you something. That fits better. Shut up. <laughs> so, uh, Whoppers, I... They should be higher old? than six because okay. Robin eggs are good. Okay. Nope. What are these? Dude, these are some so, generic. Uh, they have cad. They put Cadbury on this list three times. I mean, it's a little biased. I bet the, they, they the put list. the egg, then the caramel egg. What the caramel egg then is good. The big actually, chewy nerds yeah. jelly beans. I, I bet these are good. These I have those at good. my house right now. I bet these are good. Those are good. Those are good. Yeah. 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 Number Reese's three. Reese's three. Number th- Reese peanut butter eggs are number three. This is a. Tr- this list is a wrong travesty. These are straight from the bunny's butt, dude. They're so good. If peeps are number one, I'm throwing. I don't think I can get these guys to laugh. I really don't. I I don't. I mean, that was good. I can't. They only. That was. These are straight from the bunny's butt, and you guys just like. No, I was still blinded by rage. Hey, that's short. Yeah, I was. I was still. I'm still. I'm trying to figure out. Uh, so, how could what could possibly be a Reese's egg? Yeah, I need you to find out who wrote this article so I can. Oh, the Starburst jelly beans are probably going to be number one oh. at this point. Number two. Hershey, you know why I do you guys keep hitting my wife? Hit the hit the phone. <laughs> All right, number two. Boom. Starburst, Starburst jelly beans. Right, what is number num- two. What is number number one, one better be the best candy that's ever been made. If it's ahead of Reese eggs and Starburst jelly beans. I can't. My two faves? It's got to be Hershey something. Bro, if it's something stupid like a, like a, like a, I don't even know. Th- is there some. I'm like confused. I don't is know what it's a jelly it bean? Be. Or like, do you think it's going to be a jelly bean? Isn't there like a, isn't there like a, a weird type of candy that's only at Easter that's kind of like a. Do you know what I like? It's like a. The M&M Minis Easter tubes are really good. There's like the Easter, like the so Easter specific. thing. Like they're the, the M&M same minis. as M and M minis, are they not? Yeah, I don't know if they, I'm just trying to think. Of it's just like the pastel be. colors. All right, <laughs> All right, dude. If this is something stupid, ready and please be the East. Hollow milk chocolate bunnies. What's Shut the difference? Oh, it's it less. No, it's just How they, they had a solid. One? They had a solid milk chocolate bunny. This is just a hope deferred milk chocolate bunny. <laughs> it looks good on the outside, but yeah. on the inside, it's, it's empty. Less, yeah, Dude, it's this list is wrong. Reese, yeah. Reese eggs and Starburst jelly beans should be number one. Where do your YJR? <laughs> Where do Gosh. your bun, bun knees? All right, Easter Bunny origin. Oh, here we are. Here the we origin go. of the Easter Bunny. The fascinating story. Oh, um, we'll be the judge of that. Lenten season. Lenten season. That's fine. Aaron, Aaron will probably send us an email. 
Yeah, he'll probably send us the exact reason why we celebrate the eggs and I'm worship my, the bunny. I'll get my answer answer book, uh, Sam Gip. <laughs> <laughs> You're talking about the bunny, I think of uh, Why? Why is it the bunny? bunny. All right, the bunny. bunny. Oh, I right, the bunny. <laughs> All right, so you guys are going to... Where does the Easter Bunny come from? As Christians probably already know, the Bible makes no mention of a mythical he, uh, hair. <laughs> said to mythical children. hero talking about Jesus. Well, I'll well, let you know. I, I have a, something to tell you. <laughs> Can you pass me those jelly beans? Hope you, hope you like fire. <laughs> <laughs> hope you like summertime. <laughs> <laughs> well, I see, I see spring's not your thing, but maybe summer thing, a place where you're going. Uh. <laughs> hope you like the beach because you're about to get hey. some sun. Since I have jelly beans in here, how do you guys feel about black licorice jelly beans? No, thank you. Oh, I love All right. them. No, so we were, As we Christians were probably already we know, really the Bible tight, makes no mention of a mythical hare who delivers eggs to children on the day of Jesus Christ's resurrection. <laughs> Is that serious? That didn't happen? <laughs> Is that seriously what people... I would An like Easter bunt a bunny delivering eggs on the day of Jesus' resurrection. I would yeah, like you was, to find one person who it believes was that. John outran Peter <laughs> and then the bunny outran John. The bunny hopped along and said, Psych yeah. losers. Right. I I would like I would like you to find one person who believes that that's the truth. I'm sure some of our listeners would allege that all Christians who celebrate Easter believe this. <laughs> um prominent part of the one of the Christians' most important celebrations of the rebirth and renewal. One theory, according to the time, is that the symbol of the rabbit stems from the ancient pagan tradition on which many of our Easter traditions are based. The festival of Eostre. Ostre? Eostre? Yeah. Eostre? Let's just call it Easter. Uh, yeah. Which honored the goddess of fertility <laughs> in spring. The goddess animal symbol was a rabbit because they do. Have you ever heard the term? Yeah. Like, <laughs> well, it's playing like rabbits. Yeah. Um, which have long traditionally stood for fertility due to their high reproduction rates. As for how the character of the Easter Bunny made its way to America, History.com reports that it was first introduced in the 1700s by German immigrants to Pennsylvania who reportedly brought over their tradition of an egg-laying hare named Osterhase. Oh, all right, that guy. Or Osterhaus. Osterhaus. From the old country legend, um, from the old country legend, period. Legend has it the rabbit would lay colorful eggs as gifts to the children who were good. So kids would make nests in which the bunny could have his eggs and even sometimes set out carrots in case the hair, in case you were allergic to dairy. Um, and, I'm just joking. Are uh, our eggs considered, they're not considered dairy? They're not dairy. No, they're not. But if you're not vegan, if you eat eggs. Right, that's, that's what it is. Yeah. That's weird. It's like um, it's like Easter it, claws. You idiot! Sorry, because the right. egg isn't like a living thing. It never was. It's what not, are you doing? I'm trying to. I'm giving. Um, the bunny could leave his shield. eggs and even sometimes carrots. Blah, blah, blah. Remind you. Sorry, too tight. Got hungry. Remind you of any other holiday traditions? It's like Christmas, basically. Yeah, what they're saying. Um, eventually, the custom spread across America until it was widespread Easter tradition. Over time, the fabled bunnies deliver expanded from just eggs to include other treats. Such as chocolate and toys. Easter baskets have only gotten more and more elaborate over the years, as one trip to the store this year will tell you. Why does the Easter bunny bring eggs? Because bunnies don't to. lay eggs. But it's straight from the bunny's butt. How old is the Easter bunny? Why have I never seen the Easter bunny? Yeah, the Easter bunny thing's weird to me. Do you guys do Easter egg hunts at your church? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> you do, don't? Uh, we do a candy scramble. What's that? Which is... Um, An Easter egg hunt. <laughs> yeah. It's just a hunt without yeah. eggs? No, we have... Everyone just loads up with guns. Go hunt. Get get out there. Yep. <laughs> Go get, get a bunny. Get that demon yeah, bunny. Get <laughs> um, yeah, we just have them like the stray cats in a property. All right, go hunt them down. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, so we'll go to the gym um, that we have at the church, and there'll be like a two-story scaffolding they'll set up, and they'll have the whole gym carpeted down and then sections of like the kids and that way you don't have like, you know, 12th graders mixed in with like, you know, five year olds. Um, so they have it all sectioned out and it's literally just all the candy you could possibly get in these totes on top of this two story scaffolding. And you play and King just, of the Hill. No, it's all the kids are in <laughs> oh. sections with bags. And it's literally just, I'm up there with brother Judd, just chucking, chucking candy. I mean, it's like just it's a parade. It's controlled chaos, and just kids are all controlled tackling chaos. each other. 
on the ground to get candy and just you know, being pelted with candy. It's awesome. It just it's, absolute, awesome. it's absolute chaos. <laughs> Is and, it awesome uh, because you get to throw the the candy at people? Yeah, yeah, it's also <laughs> awesome too. <laughs> you just like you're like that guy right there, and then I'll just like chuck candy at random adults. Also, like that's pretty funny. Yeah, yeah, we do an Easter egg hunt at our church. Then you hear like the little kids will like start like crying because like they're but they're like oh, there's, like the a, front. there's a lollipop stuck in their eye. <laughs> they signed the waiver. Fine. You know, when I was little, little, we, my mom and dad used to do the Easter egg hunt, and then it gradually just turned into. Um, when I was a little bit older as a kid, we would just get like a basket, yeah, with candy in it, and we called it a day. We yeah. did Easter egg hunts. Um, the kids had like colorful eggs, and my mom's like for anybody, like so adults, you know, anybody. It was she had camo eggs. <laughs> and there, were, there was money there was money in the camo eggs like ranging from like one to twenty um dollars in there only one egg at twenty dollars sadly but um so yeah so like everybody was involved uncles like steve he's out there getting it like my mom's like trying to yell at my granddad like no you can't that's the neighbor's property that, like there's no eggs over there like you know everything like did not matter like oh he's there that's stupid no there's money involved they yeah, were getting no there doubt. There's another story with the Easter egg. When I was like seven, we were at my grandparents' house and they had an Easter egg hunt there with like the neighbor kids and the in the neighborhood. And then my uncle's on the porch and like the adults are on the porch watching on the kids all oh, you know, go out there and so I'm I'm doing my thing. I'm young, seven maybe. Um and then there's this egg and what I'll do is like whenever I find an egg, you know, you shake it to see if there's anything inside, of course. Of course. Yep. So Naturally. I shake it. A frog maybe. But there was money. And I shake it. Yeah, and there's the nothing I'm hearing. The frog makes less noise than you think. So I'm like, this is stupid. So my, I, 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 my uncle's like, <laughs> hey, you might want to keep that egg. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay, now, boomer. Yeah, nice, nice, nice try. try. You're not going to fool me. So I, th- I threw it on the ground. And he was like, well, I warned away. him. And uh, the neighborhood girl got in there. There's 20 bucks in there. Oh. <laughs> so. What did you drop? Were you just like. I was like. <laughs> man. <laughs> I was like. Yeah. Man. Did it, did, it, did it turn as a lesson illustration down the road? Absolutely. Your uncle said. Oh, like, you might want to keep that. He's like, he wasn't going to warn me again. He's like, yep. Yeah. Well. <laughs> Well, no, I think, my mom was like, I think my mom was time. like, Harrison, you really want to keep that egg? And me, stubborn boy, I'm like... <laughs> it <laughs> made no noise when I rattled yeah, it. it. Nice try. <laughs> Couldn't get no. it. Yeah. Someone's already eaten the jelly beans like, in no, this No, I've one. done the science. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> it's like someone's out... Yeah, you're to- not here with me. I I know what's going on. <laughs> you think I'm some stu- one of them <laughs> stupid kids, huh? <laughs> you think I'm just going to waste my basket with empty eggs? Nice try. <laughs> <laughs> taking up the space with one of these more <laughs> valuable eggs. Uh, Only winners here. <laughs> That's I don't so need funny. your charity eggs. <laughs> you don't know me. You don't know what I've been through. Participation <laughs> trophy egg. <laughs> Could have been a millionaire. <laughs> this means nothing to me. Exactly. I've been to war. <laughs> Do you ever like think about where you'd be in life if you had that extra twenty dollars? <laughs> Clearly, I haven't gotten over it. <laughs> here we are. I don't remember any other egg hunt besides the ones with money involved. I would never. Do you guys do that when like you buy something and then like years down the road you're like, dude, how much different would my life be if I didn't spend that money? I think about it all the time. Never thought about that. I think about really it. never. Or like, man, what if I bought that thing that I wanted or that I needed, like. Well, what, I've what, never bought anything that was like what? Like if I didn't buy the house? We're, no, we're talking yeah. about no, no, something no, no, that like, was like like, like a hundred like stuff that doesn't matter. Just like being you, something stupid. Yeah, like what is some like? All right, so let's say like you, if you went, didn't buy the podcast recorder. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what, dude? I don't know what I've been doing for the last year. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, or like, what if you didn't get thirteen pair of wool socks at the same time that are all different colors. Like what if like let's say hypothetically right hypothetically you bought a (laughs) pair of Jordans, right? Mm -hmm. Like two hundred dollar shoes. And then a couple like like two years down the road you're sitting there and you look at the Jordans and you go, I don't wear those that often. (sighs) 
Would my life be different if I had saved that two hundred dollars? Oh, yeah. You don't think about it like uh, that at all. My mind doesn't really? go there. Oh, I, think my, I do I that think stuff it. all the time. Well, maybe because you're underachieved. Maybe I'm just joking. Cam, oh, Cam's man. living the the lavish yeah, my ministry bad. life. Oh, yeah. so. It's like maybe because you still find yourself unsatisfied and unfulfilled in life. I should buy more things. <laughs> I should buy more things. <laughs> maybe if you were happy, David, yeah. uh, you would not no, think have, how differently would my life be. I have a hole and I need to fill it yeah. with things. It's like the comment yeah. in our Instagram post that we put on your wife's thing. I already forgot what you said. This man's in danger. danger. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. How about you tighten this up so it doesn't keep wig- wig- something's wiggling? Like, anyway, so yeah, we do an Easter egg hunt. Um, Wicked. Wicked. Yeah. Wicked. So we do that, and we usually get a you're bunch of. To, you're not supposed to be like the world cam. No, yeah, we're gonna get some emails on that. There Email is. in on what you think about uh, Cameron's pagan yeah. worship. Yeah, <laughs> at this time of the year, not back in December, yeah. but yeah. at this time of the year, this we're time it, specific, yeah, the first not, time this year. I'm not year. a fan of ecumenical eggs over here. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so we get, um, we'll have a good crew, a good group of kids that'll come out, and uh, yeah, we'll use the. Easter eggs after our junior church. We'll use it. We'll, you know, we'll put out probably a thousand or so and we'll, kids will go get them and we will put money in them. And the light ones, I've seen kids do that before. They're just like, trash. <laughs> and it's like, no, that's the. Did you guys ever like paint the hard boiled eggs? Yeah. No. Yeah. You guys never but like I do every, like every year. Yeah. I do yeah. like a couple eggs with nothing in them just to demonstrate the empty tomb doctrine. Well, Oh, kids hate you. Just nothing in it. And That's right. Harry, Harry almost fell for that. And every time they get yeah. it, and we they like my egg's empty. So's the tomb. Oh. Harry they almost fell like for that. They were like, "You should keep that egg." And Harry was yeah. like, "I don't care about no stupid." Yeah. yeah so, um, no, but we'll have a good. We'll probably have. I don't know how many visitors, but we'll pull in a lot of new visitors. Saturday we go out and we pass out. We have a thousand flyers to do Harrington and Greenwood. So we'll have a good group go out and do Harrington and Greenwood. I think last year we had. There was, there, like, we went out Saturday, and Sunday, I think there were seven people from the Flyers. It was quite a bit awesome. from the it Flyers. Not from and that. We, there were, that wasn't just, I think, I don't know, I think we had, like, 24 first-time visitors, which was, for us, that's, like, insane. Mm-hmm. Now, you get Solid Rock, whatever, they'll probably have, like, 100 first-time visitors or whatever. Faith, that was probably more, but, um, but, like, yeah, that was good. So, we're excited about that. Isn't and, it uh, interesting that, like, people who... All year round, like, never go to church ever. Mm-mm. Are just like, man, it's Easter. We need to go. I, know, to church. I don't even yeah. know what they think. Why? What is Easter without church, though? And I don't. We don't call it Easter in church. I'm just saying it just to keep the the Resurrection Sunday is what we call it. So, all right, since but like, what? Why do unchurched people who aren't even saved? Why do they all get feel the need to they go? Just feel well, like, not even that, like the commercials. JC Penny, get your Easter outfit. And like, why are we dressing up if you're not even going to church? Yeah, right. but like, because people are buying stuff, not going to church to have Easter meal. What is it to you? What is yeah. it? Yeah, well, see, With that, I, feel, yeah. I don't understand. People say you're celebrating a pagan holiday. First of all, what is the pagan holiday? I understand. Back in the day, it was like the pagans' way of celebrating spring and fertility or whatever. But today, what are people celebrating? They're not celebrating fertility. I yeah, mean, it's not like people are going out and getting drunk or anything like that. It's not like they're going out and getting drunk. And a lot of these people aren't going to church. Yeah. We'll get to the ones that are going to church. But like I have friends that are going and buying outfits for their family and taking yep. Easter pictures, but they don't even go to church and they have di- you know brunch at 11 and then a dinner at 3. Yeah. yeah but was, have, why? Yeah. yeah. No for church. what? Easter. I have a ton of unsafe friends. I'm joking. I'm yeah. Yeah. There's no like, <laughs> Easter <laughs> game or whatever. Well, it's not yeah, like, like it's a. Is trade. there a sports game on Easter? Basketball. That's a big it's not thing. like okay Thanksgiving football. They'll, have, they'll I mean, be baseball, but at not, the very least with Christmas, you can just that. say it's like you can claim it. Well, it's family, and you're giving gifts. Yeah, it's Thanksgiving. Right. Whatever. Thanksgiving. Christmas you know, has Santa. like there's like a whole part of <laughs> yeah. there's Santa's a whole part a of Christmas that thing. makes sense for lost people to celebrate. Yeah, mm-hmm. because they've taken it in commercial Thanksgiving, now, but like but Easter Easter doesn't, doesn't, really doesn't have like that. there's it's really just the one thing. If you don't have that, then you're just. It's Even commercials like the bunny, yeah, and yeah. Okay, what, well, what do you? What do you? Yeah, there's. It, it's I don't so understand how anybody attaches himself to it. Valentine's Day. Get it? Thanksgiving. I get it. Fourth of July. I get it. Christmas. I get mm-hmm. it. Yeah. President's Day. Martin Luther King Day. I get, I get it. I get it. I get it. 
Flag Day. <laughs> what about what? National Women's Canadian Day? Canadian Boxing Day. Yeah. December 26th. Yeah. <laughs> trans Day of Recognition. Yeah. Are trans you shocked that vengeance. I knew that? <laughs> trans Day of Vengeance. I get it. Yeah. That was so What'd you say, David? Huh? That was like Canadian Boxing Day. And he's like, yeah, December 26th. <laughs> That's what it is. That's it is. You're right. It's funny. I don't know why I know that, but I do. I'm glad you do. Thank you. you know well, never but, celebrated it, not once in my life. But then, why do people feel the need to go to church? It's like a thing that's like ingrained in people that even if they don't like people who don't believe in God, yes, never go to church. Right. On Easter Sunday, will get up yeah. and get their family together and go to a yep. Easter service. I know we will have people probably Sunday that just have, that didn't get a flyer, don't know anybody at the church, but they just show up. They yep. know that a church yeah. is there. And they will show up, and then there's a chance you will never see those people again. Never it's again. not a chance; it's a fact. They the thing see, is, like, but you they get see the chocolate cross <laughs> at the store, and they were yeah. like, "Is it solid if or hollow?" If I be lifted up, I will draw all men to me as they salivate, <laughs> and they're like, <sighs> "I guess you know." Jesus was a part of this too. So, yeah. <laughs> what's interesting is that I feel like I'll be we, honest. I've never one time felt the desire to buy a chocolate cross. I've never seen a chocolate I cross. They're either. like they're randomly there sometimes. I don't. Yeah, I don't like know. Like a dollar store, they'll like be Christian bookstores. I'm like Jesus. I don't celebrate the cross. We celebrate the empty tomb. As you grab eat an, the cross, no, I like grab an Jesus. egg. <laughs> Well, I, grab I have the, a question. What about this represents the death, burial, the resurrection of Christ? I have a question <laughs> since yep. you guys are all churched people and, and yep. preachers. Um, do you, are you guys guilty of the thing that I notice every Easter and every Christmas? Anytime those holidays roll around, every single time without fail, probably every service around the holiday, mm -hmm. somebody will go. I, we we know that, that that Christ wasn't crucified on a Friday. We know that it wasn't a Friday because you know it doesn't just add up Friday to Sunday. Yeah. Every it's like every church service mm -hmm. that'll get mentioned around Easter, and the same thing with Christmas. Every church service in December, somebody has to mention. Yeah, and we know that Christ wasn't actually born. Yeah, we 25th. sing a song, and it's like, um, <laughs> it's the My Name Is Mary. My name is Mary. My yeah. name is Jesus. Uh, I think whatever. We, we say, uh, no, we did the one that the friends sang. That's a different, that's called What Kind of Man? What, what kind of man? Yeah, we do the, it's like a, it starts out with Mary. My name is Mary. You sing that part? Yeah, it's singer. really good. You sing yeah, that sing part? part? He sings just that part. But it goes into, I am a soldier. I, my name is Peter. And it goes, Peter, it goes, Mary, Peter, soldier. And then Jesus. I my I know name is Jesus. Yeah, I've heard the song. I, my name is Jesus and I have returned. From the grave and fulfillment of my father's word. Um, we get but it. But oh, no, the point in the chorus is, um, last, last yeah. Friday, on point? Friday, my Lord was hung on a cross. We say Thursday. I'm always between that. Thursday and Wednesday, so like, you've never noticed that? No, I've on Wednesday, my Lord was hung on a cross. I always change it. Do we you never, take never that, say Friday. Take that, Catholic. <laughs> never say Friday. Yeah. yeah. I'm not, uh, was it? We were singing. Um, and I don't know. Pastor I'm between Friday. and like January. Well, no, he was talking about the holidays. Like when he was talking about like Christmas and Easter. Is that way? I'm always right, between Fri uh, Wednesday and Thursday. Do you know what like I the, can never. I don't. I can't. But I know it's not Friday. Do you know what Plus the God, date I know was? what happened to Sunday. <laughs> But God, <laughs> it's a party. <laughs> and as the sun began to, glad you heard it. And as the sun began to rise, opened up his eyes. So, uh, I got what? Time? What did you say, you idiot? Yes, I was, mm. was you have to good. listen back and hear it. Uh, it was <laughs> so, the demon shout. Uh, I got into it with Jesse. We were singing um, uh, that song that McCamey sang in the middle of it all. Mm -hmm. There was Jesus. So the choir, our choir sings that. And um, I was reading the story and I was like, Jesse, I was like, I think this song is wrong. And he goes, what do you mean? I said, it opens up with it had been three days. But I was like, in the story, they travel a day, realize that Jesus is missing, travel back, and then after three days, they find him in the temple. I was like, so the way it reads to me is 
Jesus was missing for five, for five days, not three. And he was like, no. And we argued, argued, argued yeah. during a choir practice. So he goes, all right, you know what? And he strings it up. He goes, it had been several days. <laughs> Dude, I lost it. It had been so- at least three days. <laughs> Dude, it was so funny. That's perfect. It had been days. <laughs> An undetermined amount of days. <laughs> <laughs> it had been an elongated period of time. <laughs> oh man, That's funny. So you do like the it had been three to five business days. <laughs> <laughs> they, they, didn't, they didn't have prime. No. <laughs> <laughs> do you do like the, uh, you know, like the the build up of like the oh, day two and then like the the shutter and then like you know day three, but on day three. <laughs> What do you mean? In preaching? Wait, like, yeah, when you're preaching, you sir. I don't ever preach the main service, and the kids don't appreciate that. Oh, they like build up. <laughs> the kids are like, what are we doing? <laughs> Where's the candy? <laughs> <laughs> we don't care. <laughs> <laughs> They've got their little outfits on, little yeah. spread. Where's the candy? <laughs> <laughs> the pastel colors. Yeah. It's like a bunch of little homeschoolers. Like, <laughs> like <laughs> Your breads. Oh, oh man. man, it's fun times though. Jason yeah. Dumas is. They're putting out six thousand bun up uh, bunnies, six thousand eggs, and then they're 6, having it's community eggs. wide, and so there's gonna be ra- everyone who's there gets a raffle ticket, mm-hmm. and so they go into the sanctuary, and they have to stay for the raffle if they want to win something. The raffles after the service. So then they have hey, a, they have a uh, service hook and bait. Yeah, it's on Saturday though, so they're having a gospel, like Bait ten minute switch. gospel. Switch, yeah. Lock the doors, you know. <laughs> Lock the doors. <laughs> yeah. So, bro, this this almost sounds like an arson case. Yeah, uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> so bad. <laughs> Scare them to get saved. Well, you all die. We're starting to fire. It, yeah. Turn to our Lord Jesus Christ. Turn right. to burn. It's turn or burn. They <laughs> ain't fried or chicken fried. Hell's hot. <laughs> or turn then. We burn. had two thousand yeah. converts that day. This was oh. almost like Pentecost. <laughs> oh my goodness! Actually, the fire fell. <laughs> six thousand eggs. How many people does it take to, in a timely manner, hide six thousand eggs? At least six thousand divided by a hundred. Do it. Just like a hundred people or a hundred. How many would each person to pick up? No, you're no, I'm talking about hiding them. I'm pretty sure at that point you're just like walking out just, with a bag yeah. and you're just going. You're like the <laughs> sower. Like you're saying a hundred people are doing look, this? Some fell no, I mean it's a community ground. wide. By time so the point is, I'm the anyone who found six thousand divided by one hundred sixty. So one hundred sixty people. No, sixty. Sixty eggs per person, or sixty. With hundred people, people. That's it. you can do like a eggs. minute. You just one Something. one a second. All right, I'm done. What if we just hundred people come and it's like we have the six thousand and and everyone's just picking up sixty eggs that last ten minutes. You're like, well, that was anticlimactic. <laughs> so, yeah, you had yeah. sixty people pick up a hundred <laughs> eggs. Yeah, or hundred. But by, people what pick I'm saying is, by eggs. the time it takes yeah. you to hide six thousand eggs, the reason is melted by the time it's found. Yeah, there was yeah. one. That got, it was like a, a helicopter flyover dropping eggs. Oh. Couple kids knocked out. Yeah, <laughs> <Yep. laughs> just found him in the field. <laughs> <laughs> like Brian, well, Brian Green. What was waiver. it? Eubanks at, in Rome. <laughs> he dropped tracks over the Vatican. <laughs> That's what you guys are doing. You're just dropping, <laughs> dropping, dropping eggs. plastic eggs on children's heads. We're yes, soft, we're, putting the, kid, we're putting the kids in the outfield and hitting softballs. <laughs> just, oh, <bam. laughs> and they're just, trying, they're just actual softballs painted pastel colors. <laughs> Drilling the kids. Tied-eyed. I don't get it. Shooting them. Shooting Those them. are big Easter eggs. <laughs> shooting eggs out of like a t-shirt cannon. Just like. <laughs> that would be so bad. The smoke. Sounds- <laughs> it's like a potato can. You just hear. Pumpkin yeah, but then chunking. The, the, egg egg chunk, egg. the plastic just shatters before Ow. it even comes out of this. There's just shrapnel coming out with like chocolate bits. It's, so you hear you just hear. It's out of a potato can. You're just like. <laughs> it's, just like, it's just like, yeah, <laughs> man. Do that Why again. Do we have? Fi- I find so much joy in talking about beating up. Kids. Yeah, dude, we're gonna get put like our our podcast is gonna get flagged. It's life's greatest yeah. joy. May contain. Why do we do this, and why does it make us happy <laughs> to talk about you? <laughs> they signed the waiver. It's fine. 
<laughs> whooping kids. Oh man, what else we got here? Um, I think we're done. <laughs> All right, you got the fruit roll ups. Did you want to try that? Not now, dude. It's it's late. It's eleven. It's eleven twenty. I am. Oh, I've fallen off the cliff. It's only a matter of time before I hit, hit the, the bottom. ground. Well, this guy's always like, I don't have time. I'm so tired. I'm always. Like, you went to the gym. At, at five in the morning twice. and at four in the afternoon, like of yeah. course I, I didn't. I didn't go twice. Today. That was no, not today, but that one time. And I'm like, you're always. Like, I'm so busy. What is it? I'm like, well, maybe cut out one time at the gym a day. Yeah. Well, the re- only reason, maybe the only maybe, maybe you could just go to the gym once a day. Maybe the only seven reason days I went twice that day was because I didn't have school when I was celebrating. He's like, man, you know what? I went to the gym 14 times this week. Twice Dude, a day. Can't the, find any time, though, for yeah. my Bible reading. Dude, on the... Wow. Whoa. <laughs> man, whoa. Man. You almost That's looked why. as offended as you did when Meredith whoa. said you would get beat in the zombie apocalypse. Up. Now's the time. Now's the time. Hey, let me ask you something. Hey, free, shut, shut up. up. Shut up. Where's Freeform? Boom. I bet you feel pretty stupid now. <laughs> oh, you're proving your devotions? There's April 5th. Let me see real quick. There. I like um Is you just gonna delete it? Is that what no, you're No, don't do that. <laughs> stop, stop, stop. What'd you do? I deleted How one of his I, notes. Alright, I didn't do it. <laughs> oh crap. Do that. So the Cassie was uh we were at we had a work day a couple oh, weeks ago. He Saturday. texted me the other day. Did he? Yeah, he, he said uh he was on Monday because he was listening to the podcast. He said, just so you know, I got your back. I think you would survive too. He's a he's a he's a um a zombie apocalypse called? um Flattery. He's a flatterer. Um, a flat earther? A flat flatterer. Flatterer. Oh. Yeah. And we were working with, like, at the prepper. church, and he has, Cassie's, me and Cassie work together, so he has his trailer, my trailer. Mm-hmm. He has tools, my tools, his tools. He gets so bothered if like a battery gets swapped or something, whatever. So we were at the church, and we'll yeah. stop trying to steal his stuff. I had camera. my broom, and he had his broom, like push broom. And I, I thought one of them was mine. I was like, Cassie, is this yours? And he's like, Yeah. I was like, okay, and I jokingly like said I was just ran to the dumpster and threw like I was gonna run to the dumpster and throw it in, but I didn't. It was just like, haha. Is this a work day? Yeah, but we had a bonfire, like we were burning old wood, and I had the thought. Did you say bomb fire? Yeah, bomb, bonfire. We lit off bombs. Bond, bond. bonfire. I was so, like, I was like, what? yeah, I would say bonfire. bond, bond. We l- burn jail bonds. Yeah. <laughs> so bond I, cream. I, <laughs> I I had the, like, in my head, I'm like, I should have asked him and said, is this your broom? When he said yes, I should have just ran over to the fire and <laughs> just thrown it in. Mm-hmm. And just see how it would have been. Yeah. <laughs> and then afterwards, I told Dustin, I was like, you know what I should have done? I said, Cassie, do you have the broom with the green handle and the black uh, bristles or whatever? He's like, yeah. Oh, it's in the fire. Yeah. <laughs> like, describe, yeah. describe his broom to him in great exactly. detail. And then, my, oh, yeah, I threw it in the fire. I threw it in the fire. Last <laughs> I saw it was pretty charred. Yeah. yeah. I, would have, I would have done it and bought him a new one just, just no, what to you see have his been, frustration. You should have done. You should have been like, oh, I just threw a broom in the fire. It wasn't yours, though. It was the, the one with the green <laughs> yeah. handle. And, the and then he'd be like, yeah, that's fine. I'm like, no, 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 not that no, no, one. No, the no, one I, with I the, do that. Not yours. Yeah. The one I threw in. I do that to Dustin sometimes. I'm like, random extreme things like... Oh, is this your gum? Thanks, bro. Throw it in the trash. Dude, one... Look, <laughs> so, I got a brand new pack of gum. This was during discipleship when we still had that going on. And right before class was going on, he's like, hey, is this your gum? And I was like, yeah, do you want a piece? He's like, yeah, sure. He takes a piece out, puts it in his mouth, literally tosses it in the trash can from where he's standing. <laughs> and then I totally forgot about it. <laughs> this brand new thing of gum. It's just got no, have you, ever, have you ever seen... The brand new. No, no, the hockey, the hockey game. He's like, oh, cool. Like, I don't remember what hat it was. He took it off. Oh, it's cool, dude. Takes it off my head, looks at it, tossing the trash can. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, the best is... I saw this on the internet, and I I did it once. The best... Do you guys remember bubble tape? And then he walked away. Yeah. Do you he remember bubble, bubble tape? the public trash and get his hat back. Do you guys remember bubble tape? It was like yeah. the pink. It was like rolled up or whatever. I saw this on the internet, and then I did it the first chance I had. Or somebody had bubble tape. I was like, "Hey, can I get some?" And they were like, "Yeah." And they handed me the thing. I just sideways. opened it up and I just <laughs> took a bite out of the whole roll. Yeah, sideways, bro. <laughs> and just put it back. And then you keep it back, and they're like, <laughs> "Bro, it's the funniest." <laughs> <laughs> oh, you like, oh. Oh. Just, have you seen this? So have you seen the, the video where the guy like walks into a house and they're like, "Yeah, you want something to drink?" You're like, "Oh, 
no, I'm good. He said, no, no, seriously, you want anything to drink? He said, sure, I guess I'll take a root beer float. <laughs> <It's just> <laughs> like, <laughs> what do you ask? I'm placing orders, bro. What do you think? <laughs> and the people are like, what? And he always does that. Hey, you want something to drink? He's like, ah, I guess I'll, I guess I'll take a milkshake. <laughs> and they're like, yeah. I have water and tea. <laughs> and they're like, oh. <laughs> uh, no, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> Stupid. Well, he's risen. Well, <laughs> we should call Wade. Um, Christ has risen. If you guys are interested, we have revival Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday of next week, which would be this Monday. Yep. This Monday night, Tuesday night, and Wednesday night. We didn't really announce it. It was kind of a last minute thing. Um, but yeah. Sounds fun. Yeah. We'll have that. That Pretty sounds cool. Fun. Also, our t shirts are dropped to, uh, I'm going to put this in the front. On there. Shopify? They are dropped in 1999 yeah. with free shipping. So go get those. It's t-shirt season. Free shipping. Ha, 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 ha. Um, you should like. Look, we've been stuck at 99 yeah. likes. Uh, star 99 re- stars. Huh. Um, 99 maybe, ratings maybe on Dustin Apple. Or David decided to review. I've no, we've been I've stuck at 99 it. for like two weeks. And on Spotify, we're stuck at like 50. So one, we're at 150, which star. is great. Because I don't watch a lot of these podcasts. How's our monetization going? Um, let's see. <laughs> I didn't get my I didn't get my check in the mail, yeah, so well, not you, not looking too our, good. What are our funds looking like over here? Here we go. Do you, I'm not gonna read it out loud. I had a really good idea for a new T-shirt idea, by the way. Yeah. Here's what we're gonna do with this money. Whoa! Oh, tithe. Man. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Do you have to tithe on proceeds of a ministry, though? If it's that's like what nonprofit, yeah, we're just an what extension of Cam's church at this point. Oh come on! Oh money here. We go. So, yeah, look, <laughs> what? <laughs> what is this? This way he's texting Cam. This was this is a lot of dumb stuff. You were, you were on the phone with somebody, and I was on the other end, so I just started texting you. That's our current balance right there. Yeah. That's a lot of zeros. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Rolling in the dough! Yeah, but how usually... Many, usually how many commas is that? That's from the ad. <laughs> it's a yeah. lot of zeros. What does RPM mean? Uh, other than revolutions per minute. What? Oh, um, something. There, well, I didn't get to see Rupees. I, I, he just Ru- showed it to Dustin. He was so, yeah. wow. the numbers guy. Ru- rubies. Rupees. We got Rupees. So. That's Who wants like. to take the... Like, uh, uh, but anyways, yeah, leave a review. If you haven't given us a rating yet, give us a rating. There's... An, like, if everyone who listened gave us a rating, we would be, you know, at, at like, you know, 800 reviews. And YouTube has taken off. It's, it's yeah, doing well It's right doing now. good. Yeah, yeah, it is. Like Last it, week's episode had more than the... Yeah, the YouTube studio, every time I open it up, it's like, you guys are doing great. I'm like, yeah, thanks, it's YouTube. Good. It's doing <laughs> good. I mean, it's not for an hour plus episode. Like, it's got to be rough for people to watch on YouTube. Like it's not a, the most ideal show or podcast to listen I think it's to just watch. The trying to like be more like in it, you know. It, it, it that's the thing. Like I, I think that like podcasts are literally where it's at, though. Mm-hmm. Like who who doesn't listen? Like it's rare you come across somebody who doesn't listen to podcasts. And, and who so usually they're just lame. Yeah, I'm just kidding. I don't I mean, associate sort of with those kind of people. Yeah. I just so that one podcasts, ad, like. That one ad we did um, just made like 15 bucks. Uh, 15 Spotify? grand. You mean the ad that's... You want to make a podcast? Yeah. <laughs> Literally, I was at work. I, I think I already just, said yeah. this. I was at work and it and I got a notification and it was like, sent me a script. Do you want to do it? And I was like, bloop, on my phone. Uh, I was trying to And I read it. it. You want to do a podcast? Well, Spotify. And I put it in the episode. I made 15 bucks. Isn't it Spotify that like comes up and it's like... Want to break from the ads? <laughs> yeah. camera, camera comes on and he goes, "You want to hear an ad?" <laughs> yeah, actually, I can put that. I can put. I literally can put that dumb ad in like five times in an episode, and we would get like, we would actually get enough yeah. to pay for our hats. <laughs> so sorry. hey, people, if you want to skip sorry. the ads, yeah, sorry listeners. If you want to skip the ads, ads, if you go to our podcast page on Apple Podcasts or Spotify and click on our episode. Um, whatever there will be an a, a way for you to donate one dollar a month or four ninety nine a month or I think it's ten dollars a nine ninety nine a month. 
I don't even know if I would listen we to it. We should do it the five, same. If you put it in five times, yeah, I wouldn't dude, even listen I to it. I wouldn't either. It would be so trashy. But you got to pay the bills, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> we're gonna, if we're going to make careers we out do. of this. Yeah, yeah, we should do more. Oh, well, dude, our you one like, year is coming up like really fast. Yeah, yeah I know. This is what, 48? This is 48. Yeah, yeah. The same age as David. It's crazy. 48. In the next couple weeks, good. we got to record before I have the baby. Well, my wife has it. <laughs> <laughs> what I was going to ask. We're at two hours. We're, I don't know what we said, but I don't know. who wants to do this one? I'll do it. Hey, man. You got it? Hey, man. Glory. If Christ be not risen. <laughs> yeah, that's where we're going. <laughs> so, 1 Corinthians 15, 13, 14. But if there be no resurrection of the dead, then is Christ not risen? And if Christ be not risen, I just then said. is our preaching dead on. vain, and your faith is also vain. Yeah, and if Christ be not risen, that phrase, your faith is vain, and you're yet in your sins. Again, all men most miserable. Why is there hope? It's not that he was just another man. There's a lot of people who died. But there's only one who was risen from the grave. Stinking. And we can have hope and knowing, hope and trusting, because he proved that he wasn't just another man. He proved that he was God. He proved that he was everything he said he was true. And he is the way, the truth, the life. He's the only way to heaven. Trusting in him. It's great you celebrate Easter, but are you putting your trust in the whole reason why we celebrate Easter? Amen. Mm-hmm. All right, guys. Thanks for listening. Again, give us a like, rating, subscribe. Do whatever you can to support this podcast. Let us know if you like the episode. Send in emails. Um, if you'd like to give monthly support or a one-time donation, please do that. That would be wonderful. Buy a shirt, 1999, com. We love you all. Thank you for listening. Couldn't do it without you. In all your endeavors, remember Christ is risen. He is alive. <laughs> So because of that, calm down. It's it's fine. fine. Do you like listening to pot? Can you imagine (laughs) if you just throw it at the end? (laughs) I just sneak it in there.